if I do it again, I'm gonna now do it the sack way, which is the walking strategy I talked about. That was the idea, at least. Seventeen. What was Kimmy's record? Twenty-one. Oh wow! We <laughs> I beat Kimmy's record by an hour. All right. Let's get to this. So they were going to do a Voyager stream. I have an achievement run, which is a Voyager run that is literally just to do achievements where I can do anything. Except for 500 days and cartographer, I'm doing another different one, so this is a very easy going one. So let's see what we got. <laughs> Thank you, glad you like it. I'll show it again in a break at some point if more people are. All right, let's see. It's been a while since I've been in this this uh, play. Let's see. Hold on. Ah, oh, two seconds. Where are we? Ah. Oh. see what I've been doing. Let's just uh, scout out what I have here. Uh, I'm not going to worry too much about surviving or cartography on this run. I can also start a completely new run if you prefer. I don't really mind. Uh, let's see. Carrying a bunch of stuff. Oh, seems alright. If I had to guess, if I know myself. There's going to be food in the fridge, isn't there? Let's just check. This is... <laughs> drinks. <laughs> Let's see what the journal says. Find stuff like books, question mark, whatever, go summit. For, oh, we haven't been to the summit. Let's go to the summit and fix some pants. Pants. Oh. Okay. Oh, that's annoying, isn't it? Some stuff in lockers. Oh, okay. So, 
one of my skills like here. Uh, I think that this I'm trying to get a level five on all of these skills in this run. That's gunsmithing level five. We need revolver and rifle. All right, let's uh, let's just wait out until it's daylight. Let's wait four hours. Let me go. I will spend another day here so we can um, fix those pants. Let's do some gun stuff. Now the first thing to know about the guns is you want need to make sure that they're in top condition. Because if you don't, they, 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 can, they, can, they can jam. <laughs> they map anything? Not really. <laughs> Uh, map some stuff, but I don't really need the map. I don't even know where I've been though, but that's okay, we'll find that out. <laughs> Good, no? do, do, do. Oh, let me just check something, I totally forgot. Uh, we'll need one more follower. <laughs> <laughs> so let's just uh, fix that. Wait, wait, wait. Let's see. What's the weather outside? It's been a while since I've played on Voyage, it's just so easy for me. But it, at least you have the gun. Yeah, we got food. All right, let's see. Uh, two seconds. Let me just see here. Follow a goal. Let's change this. Uh, I would. I would say Norway is pretty cool. Two. Oh, I guess we met that goal then. <laughs> I'm just gonna take it off. <laughs> Actually, we'll change it. Ooh. Change it to. Uh, what is this? Goal. Can't I? Yeah, I want to end this goal. I want a new one. 120. Why not? There we go. Uh, seven. Oh no, I want to. I want to end it on like second. Let's just do that. There we go. Congrats, uh, Justin Nick, your follower number 100. So thank you. Let's give a shout out to Nick. All right, you get. Uh, you get a. Uh, what? Just a Nick for. Why did that not work? You might be in offline mode, that maybe that's why. Just uh, let's try ooh, again. Ooh, 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 All right. Well, I owe you two thousand points. That can be your reward. Yeah, Thank you for tuning in. <laughs> All right. So let's see. Let's just do some hunting stuff. <laughs> so you just run it. But the rifle works just like the bow. It sways, and it's determined by stamina. And you want to hit right in the middle of this reticle. Oh, However, unlike the bow, you can crouch and shoot. With the bow, you can only do that at level 5. So let's just kill some wolves for the fun of it. Now, this is Voyager, so they're not going to uh, be too much of an issue. You can get very close. If you don't smell. Well, let's just try it quickly then, in case, in case that was the... Uh, Okay, well, I'll manually add it later. Sometimes Streamlabs is stupid. Uh, I'll give it to you in the settings later. Right, so let's get as close to this as possible. Uh, I think I'm actually going faster than I can crouch. And we'll do some shooting. If the weapon is low condition, it will jam, which you don't want when a wolf is facing you. And the lower your fatigue is, Loud. The lower your fatigue is. Oh god, be quiet. <laughs> the lower your fatigue is, the um, harder it is to aim. And once you shoot, it will scare all the wolves off. So they heard the noise. Now, once you shoot the rifle, check the ground. Because this is where the shell casings are. 
So shell casings with rifles eject as you shoot them. However, with the revolver, it doesn't. It ejects when you reload. See? So that's something to keep in mind. And you want to collect all of them if you're in for a long run or if you uh, want to use a lot of bullets. Uh, because then you can remake bullets. I want to smell more one to get to me. One day that will be handy, exactly. Right, now I smell a bit more. Come here, Wolfie. And let's get the feathers. Once you start harvesting the corpses, the feathers usually spawn. What am I wearing? Pretty good stuff. Hey Wolf, let's just do some shooting here. Let's, let's see if we can get him to charge me. Let's see how they get on. It's a fourth one, right? Where did he go? There he is. Let's clear him all out. Let's use this one for revolver practice, actually. The revolver is not meant for hunting. So don't do it unless you absolutely have to. If it's an emergency, you can do it. But otherwise, no. It can kill a wolf in one hit, but it's not meant for that. It's meant as a deterrent. It's meant to scare them off. If you hit them in the head, though, the wolf have critical hit parts. So if you hit them in the head, or the neck, or the hind legs, that will uh, usually kill it or critically wound it. <laughs> Why so easy? I don't know. <laughs> uh, it's a bit more challenging on interloper. Come here, wolf. Let's see if we can get him with one shot. Probably not. Let's just try. Hey. Oh, that, that took care of that. <laughs> Let's just harvest these things. Maglins, I do. Oh, but I don't have sticks. No, 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 no. That's annoying. Let's get some uh, wood from somewhere. <laughs> Sorry. You gotta have patience with the oh. rifle. Sometimes I read people saying that um, they keep running out of uh, bullets. If you run out of bullets, you're not, you know, you're, you're spraying, spraying and praying. So you gotta take the time. With the revolver, you shouldn't necessarily do what I did, though. I was testing that out. With the revolver, you should shoot once you can, because you can just, you can just spam it, you know. Oh, boom, boom! Thank you for the follow and the uh, host. Uh, let's just get some wood. Thank you for dropping by. Yeah, you should time it. Time it for when you have the cleanest shot possible and the most likelihood to hit the head. Particularly with the rifle. With the revolver, don't worry too much about it because the revolver is meant to scare them off. So with the revolver, you just gotta hit them and they usually do run off. Let's just get some wood too. Let's just voyage so we can just go crazy. Get some more wood somewhere. And we should go to the summit if you, if you guys want, because the summit has amazing loot, especially on Voyager. It's just ridiculous, the amount of good stuff that's there. So if you want, we can go there. God damn freezing. 
Hoy tengo Genji encima mía. Let's get a punch. Ah, let's just not go too crazy. This should be enough. And if you want, I can upload uh, this stream on YouTube later for some footage of how this can be done. Uh, yes, just like I usually always play on Loper. Uh, all of my streams are Loper or sometimes challenges. But there's been some questions on how to do things with the rifle and stuff like that. So I could start a new Stalker run, but I had this Voyager run laying about, which is my achievement run. I'm just using this run to get as many achievements as I can. Uh, so we might as well do it here. Oh, an interloper? Uh, the one I'm streaming at the, at the moment is my record because I usually give up and, and do new runs. I'm on day 287, I think it is. 287. Going for 500. Next time I'm on, or maybe later today, I'll be on that. Usually I get to about day 250 or so and then I get bored and I switch. But this time I'm committed to get to 500. And thank you for the ball. I'll sort out your points later. <laughs> Let's see if we can find the bear. Because I could be a. I think actually maybe I've killed all the bears. Except for one. Fire's Let's just here. cook these. Ah, puede ser el calor. Seeing as they're here, we might as well, right? Ooh. Qué mala idea. Mm. Okay, that's good, Nick. I mean, the the, the story um, is a good sort of tutorial. So it's a good start, and Voyage is also a very good place to start. And you should you shouldn't really try stalk or interlope until you feel more confident at the game. Uh, yeah, you can do that, slick. Yeah, you can do that. That's kind of like what it did in in the old FPS games. People would do that. Uh, I'm, it's a bit boring though, but you you can do that. Yeah. Ah, I got too windy. That's all right. Day 70, nice. Yeah, that's really good. Good job. I'm just going to get these. It's not really that cold, not on this difficulty. Let's, go on, let's get this also. Just for the sake of it. Let's get this guy. How much are we carrying? A lot, but we can do it. because it's such a it's pretty warm on Voyager and I got I pretty good something. gear. Need to repair these pants though. Right. Let's get these as well. And just let me know if you have any requests, anything you'd like to see or ask. If I don't answer it maybe we can together in chat. This gear is starting to slow me down. But uh oh wait feathers. Ah, no, screw it. This isn't low, but we don't need the feathers. <laughs> um, I can also start new runs if you like. Although if you're on day 70, I think you pretty much got the hang of at this point. Thank you. I'm so tired. Uh, 
We're gonna slow walk over to the entrance and cook it then. I can also do a new run on Stalker if that's preferable. Stalker is sort of like it's a perfect mix between Interloper and Voyager in that you have basically the same loot as Voyager, although a reduced amount of it. Uh, but it's more punishing like Loper and it activates most of the same mechanics as uh, Interloper. I think the only mechanic that isn't in place is the world getting colder on Stalker, I think. Yeah, I think I think I should make a Discord slick because I have had people ask me before what the Discord is, so I should make one. <laughs> I could always do a stream one day where we're all talking together if you like and just hang out. I'll set up a Discord one day. So let's cook this meat. I think I'm quite close to cooking level 5 if I'm not already. It's been months since I played this save. Uh, let's see, where are we? Oh, we're not. Okay, well, basically. Even if you're not always in the Discord chat, it would be nice to with others. Yes, that's true. <laughs> Yeah, I'll, I'll see if I can get one set up. I don't think I'm going to stream tomorrow because I got other things going on. Um, I don't I did it. think so at least. Probably not Saturday either, but Sunday I might. Um, and I'll see if I can get a um, Discord set up by then. <laughs> Just so people can hang out. Probably be a mix of long dark people and counter strike people, but I don't plan on streaming counter strike for a while. I think my stream for the most part is going to be unique, uh, exclusively the long dark. And I'll throw in some other games if people are interested. Might stream some transport tycoon or something like that. And it's and this here. What is my fire starting level? Because it's not burning very long. Three, okay. Yeah, that's true, oh, Slick. Oh, oh, tomorrow, yeah. that's Squid is leaving. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, I, I, I'll, I'll look into getting that sorted so you, at least you two can hang together there. <laughs> I'll get that sorted, no worries. I never done it, but I am on this a lot. I don't think it's that hard. Yeah, they are hard. Could use even more, really. Uh oh. Just dump, dump it in the wolf pile here. I suggest we head to uh, Tim Wolf Mountain after we've repaired our stuff. Feels like night is coming. Now if we can cook the rest of it. <laughs> we can cook all but one, maybe. Oh, uh, really? Right. Let's just see if we can find a stick. Sticks. Oh wait, how long does this take? 30 minutes. Let's just take... Yeah, let's, um, let's do it. Oh, oh. Do I 
have anything else that needs cooking? No. Let's make water for the fun of it. That was a bit too long. Actually. Uh, that smell like it. Ooh! Ah, no, 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 no. Alright. Oh, we got a cooking level five. Nice. So that's done. Just Wait, does this even work? <laughs> All right. Uh, Squid and Slick, how are you getting on with your <laughs> games? Like, how are you doing with your runs and all that stuff? Yeah, let's keep that. Alright, let's kill it. Let's dump some. What am I wearing? Right. Let's dump these. Let's dump, dump this here. Let's get rid of this. How much does this go? A lot. Let's just reload this then. And let's put the shells in here. We're not going to need what we're going now. So let's just dump these in here. We don't really weigh anything. Yeah, this is fine. Oh, tengo a tracer encima. We don't need this. And sleep in a bed. Doing good, just looking for a rifle in Mystery Lake. Okay. Survival on Voyager. Nice, the same as this. Uh, in Mystery Lake, the rifle is usually in the trapper's cabin, but it can also be in the uh, lookout tower. It's usually one of those, those two places. But it's random at the end of the day. But usually it's one of those two. You work on challenges and taking better notes. I've also been doing some throwaway runs to practice shooting in investigative areas. That's a good idea. It's like, just to get a feel for it. Some crucial items I think I need and don't have yet are maglens, hacksaw, and heavy hammer. Oh, okay. Yeah, if it's not in Trappers, check the lookout tower script because it's probably going to be there. Now on Interloper, you should not sleep more than 9 or 10 hours max to recover health because you'll get dehydrated after that. But on Voyager, you can sleep 12 hours. So even if you're at almost no health, if you can survive it, you will heal to the max. Um, Maglens is... A bit tricky, there's not many of them. Voyage, I think there's a few more of them. They tend to be in uh, very often in the camp office in Mystery Lake. There's often one there on the floor. Just look around for it. Hacksaw so is around, but particularly check workbenches. You know, like, uh, where were you? You were in. Uh, uh, was it Mystery Lake you said you were in? Where were you? Mystery Lake and oh, you're now you're Coastal Highway. Okay, so if you're in Coastal Highway, I would recommend checking the garage, yeah. and you can also check the yeah, fishing yeah, like, logs. They're like the ones that have the workbench, and there's also a fishing hut, the one that is the furthest west. Check those places. Also check the lookout tower. Uh, let's see, let's head to, let's fix this stuff. And let's head to Timberwolf Mountain if you guys want, so we can check the summit out. Summit has a ton of really good loot. Let's fix these pants first though. So we need this, we need this, let's fix these. 
it failed, really. No, 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 no. Need more deer hides. Don't fail. Alright, 96, good enough. Anything else needs repairing? Okay, no bell, eh? Not really. Oh wow, we don't have better gloves. Really? Need better gloves. Maybe they broke me or got attacked or something. Yeah, it looks like it. Uh, what else? Fine, 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 fine. Uh, this could maybe be repaired, actually. I like to always carry one or two pieces of cloth, just in case I get attacked by, I need bandages or something. Yeah, let's take the, we don't need all these fishing hooks, but let's take a couple. We don't need all of this stuff, but let's take it anyway. Uh, we don't need this anymore because we're level 5 cooking. So we can smash open cans. You see, when you're level 5 cooking, I think it's on level 5, maybe it's level 4, you don't get calorie loss from smashing cans. So we don't really need it. What else? Nah, we're good. All right, let's head out then. Let's go to Timberwolf Mountain, to the summit, and check out that loot van. Uh, do I have a hacksaw with me? I don't have a hacksaw, do I? No. Well, we might find one on the way. If not, there's probably one in Timberwolf Mountain. Let's get two more liters of this. Oh, you didn't know that, uh, it's like, yes, yeah, so when you, if you don't have a can opener and you open cans, so that's uh, the peaches, the tomato soup, the pork and beans, uh, the condensed milk, I think that's the four. If you eat that without a can opener, you will smash it open and it will break and you get calorie loss. On Voyager, I think that's reduced, but on higher difficulties, uh, you, you can lose, usually it's like uh, up to 40% of it. So you generally don't want that. Uh, and once you have a can opener, that doesn't happen. Let's see what it's called. Alright. So that's something to keep in mind. If we see a bear, we'll kill it, but we're not gonna worry too much about it. Another location. Sima, Sima. Uh, I already carry. I carry already made bandages, so you don't lose blood while crafting them. Yes, that's that's what you should do. Just uh, Nick, you should always, always have bandages, like you say. Not so much for sprains, but for blood loss, exactly. But I always carry some cloth as a backup in case I get sprains and or I need an emergency repair. But you don't really need it. Uh, let's also check the plane out. So if you haven't already, Pleasant Valley is a bit of a uh, place to be in there because there's a lot of wolves and bears. Uh, but the plane has a ton of loot, particularly cloth items. So if you're cold, it's a good place to go to get good, good gear. We'll probably find something to replace this. Mm, these are really good, the second best one in the game. Maybe something to replace this, or this one. We're pretty maxed out, actually. We have close to the best gear in the game on this difficulty. Let's just head to the summit, because it's a fun thing to do. Let's hope we find a hacksaw, though. If we don't, that's... Uh... Let me see how long the range is on this. Can I shoot the wolf from here? Let's go see if this works, because I never tried. <laughs> that did not hit him, so... It probably is, it is doable, I'm pretty sure, but the 
hit hitbox is so low that it's not really worth it. Kimiota could, absolutely. Uh, the Whiteout Challenge, Squid, oh, that's a good one. Uh, well, the Whiteout Challenge is pretty easy because there's so much stuff around. can fire from the hip, I don't really like to do that. Um, the white hat challenge is just, just keep moving, like establish a base in uh, in the garage and then just loot everything. Loot the nearby houses first and then move around. Go to the big locations like the lookout tower, the uh, cabins and so on. Pick up everything you need, head back to the garage and dump it there. You don't really, uh, don't worry too much about the health as long as you don't die, because the run's gonna end when you complete the challenge. So don't worry about leveling up, don't worry about anything like that. Just loot as much as you can and take it back. And take your time, like when I played it uh, for the first time, because I haven't really done them all, I did it in seven yeah. days, <laughs> but, it's, but you should just take your time. And I know you can do it under 24 hours if you do it correctly, but you shouldn't aspire to that. Just uh, get comfortable, get the clothes and gear you can. You need, you need to put a rifle in there, but you can always put the rifle in last. So once you find the rifle, you can use it if you need to. You shouldn't really need to, but you know, if you do, just use it. Just make sure you have 10 bullets left to put in the thingy. Let's check this game. More ammo. Which means more shooting, there's so much food in this difficulty. Look at this. Uh, we're not gonna need that, let's just dump that so I'm not carrying it around. Right, let's loot these um, suitcases. It's gonna take a little while because I've been voyages, quite a few of them. We'll start at the top and move down. And I'll probably dump a bunch of it in the cave or something. Gonna pick up the feathers out of habit, why not? If you're gonna voyage all of the suitcases have what something. I'm gonna pick up only the stuff that I want. Yeah, which are that. good good items. No, no. Uh no. No. So what I'm looking for is possibly another one of these, some good pants, another one of these, because the, the red ones, if you didn't know, are better than this. The blue ones, you give one, the red one gives two. Uh, gloves, or maybe jackets, so jackets, pants, and underwear. You think I'm going to get to the That's what we're looking for here. There's also a lot of food up here on Voyager, which I don't need, but I uh, use this. yeah, we'll take that. Right just take all that stuff. Yama. No, no. Wool socks is good. No, I think I can use this. Parker is good, but it's not good for me right now. Because the Mackinac jacket's better. Uh, no. 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 All good stuff that I don't need. Uh, I'm gonna take the boots because they give cured leather. I should have actually picked up the other stuff too. Now another thing to know about this area, if you are playing on Voyager and you, you should come here because of this. The airline food. Is it food or? It's a lot oh, yeah. of food for very low calories. 
I thought, sorry, the very low weight. So you should go here for that. Let's just take one of these to the front of it. I suppose there's a lot of it, there's even more over here. No, 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 it's like you should try again and play on the easy difficulty or something because uh, the third episode is definitely the best one I'd say. I haven't played the Redux versions though of the other ones so maybe they are better now but... Uh, just use the marine flares, I'm gonna take that. Use the marine flares as much as possible. It will scare off an entire pack, just throw it at a wolf, pick it up, throw it again. This and repeat. And you'll be fine. Sometimes there's stuff here, not today. Never ever. Oh, no. A lot of good clothing here, but we don't really need it. More food. See, lots of food around. Hope I can still eat this. We don't need it. We are well stocked. But there's lots of food here. And let's just check in. Right, you should be able to walk in here. Ooh. No? Alright. Vale, eh... Could end up being useful. Oh, mittens. Perfect. We need that. That's what we wanted. I'm just gonna drop this. Perfect. The best mittens in the game, in terms of weight, are these. The wool mittens. Because they give one degree of warmth and they weigh nothing. 0.1. So they are the best ones. On interlope, of course, the warmest ones you can get are the rabbit gloves. But on other difficulties, these are the best ones. There are other gloves that are, give more warmth than these. So if you're going for warmth only, there are other ones, like the gauntlets, but in terms of how much warmth they give and how little they weigh, they are the best ones. So if you want to be light and move around, then uh, go for those. Oops. <laughs> uh, yeah, right. Oh, another one. Let's just take those for the... For the leather. Let's take that too. Um, all good stuff that I don't need. Uh, uh. Stim. Another one of more mittens. It's actually slightly better, I think. Oh, it's frozen though. Uh, oh, we just got to cooking level 5, so we don't need this anymore. Let's just check here also. <laughs> Ski jacket, now that's a good one. Now, this is good, but not really for me right now. Good. I'm gonna have to leave something behind. Two ski jackets. Alright, I'm just gonna stay here a little bit. Uh, let's actually head back to the cave. Let's not be stupid. The cave is better. And we'll sort out some of the stuff we found. I think we'll, uh, um, just in case we do repairs, let's just pick up some stuff we can shred. Just for cloth. That's all. That's good enough. Yeah, I'm glad you like it, uh, Nick. It is a it's a long learning curve in this game. They don't really teach you much. You have to find out yourself. 
I mean, even after years of playing it, you'll discover new things. I still learn things now and then, usually at key tails. Alright, so uh, let's sort out some stuff. Uh, this is where it is because these are frozen. I'm gonna harvest this for the leather. <laughs> the stuff that I don't need also just for the cloth because I might do some repairs now. Because I think the ski jacket is better than the uh, Mackinac jacket if I remember correctly. So let's check that. If not as an excuse to level um crafting. Let's see, ski jacket. Let's do this one. Repair. Hundreds. Alright, let's just see here. It's more wind resistant and it weighs less. But barely. But on this difficulty, I think I would want one. Because then you're more resistant to the wind. So let's just drop these other ones here. We don't need these, but I'm just going to save them here for later. Uh, we don't need this. And we don't need this for sure. I just want the leather. I think that's good enough, actually. Let's just drop all this stuff. Alright, let's just uh, eat something salty like this. Now we can drink a coffee. How are we doing with stamina? Let's just go. Let's, uh, I want to get to the cabin, I think, or at least the preppers cache. Now, somewhere around the map, in here in Pleasant Valley or in Mystery Lake, there's a hidden cache, which I don't remember if I found already. Uh, I think I probably have found it. Uh, you can find a whole bunch of stuff. There's, there's, uh, if you're playing Voyage, I don't think I'm stalking the Voyage and Pilgrim. There is a hidden cache in Pleasant Valley or Mystery Lake. And they will pay in one out of <laughs> one out of several fixed locations. And in that cache there's a whole bunch of loot. And one of four types of loot. There's uh, firewood, which is the boringest of them. And there is um, uh, weapons, which is a really good one. There's clothes and food. I think maybe there's a tall one. The tall one might be with weapons. I can't remember. Let's drink another coffee. We probably, actually, we don't really need that. We're going to probably just stay the night in the cache. It's just easier. Okay, let's head for the summit. I can teach you a few things there, because when I last went to the summer and you were watching, I was doing the speed run, which is a bit different. And I'm not going to do that and do those, you know, cheesy routes this time. No, I'm a There's a deer here, let's see if he's out. No, but there's a wolf around here, so let's, let's just be careful. Well, that wolf is not going to be able to kill me with what I'm wearing. An arrow, you can take the arrow. Green in case we don't need that. This will be good. Oh, I'll pick it up anyway. Alright, let's go. 
Uh, another reason I like to travel light on this difficulty is to have more sprint. If you remember from my interloper streams, I have only about one fourth of this sprint. But here I have three fourth. So wearing things like this, the mittens, or these lighter things like the ski jacket, uh, or the pants, snow pants, will make you lighter and you can run a lot more. And you're still going to be warm. Even though, like, if you want to be as warm as possible, you need to have the bare coat and stuff like that. But in this difficulty, you don't need it. An interlope is not worth it, uh, I would say, but here it is worth it. Now, let's check this cache here. Oh, oh yeah, this little thing. Let's just check here first. Woods. Uh, is it food or? Yes, it's food. We'll take it and we'll dump it at the cabin. Let's spend the night here, get some stamina back. So, I still haven't got one. At least not with me. But probably there'll be one either in here, or in the cabin, or in the fishing hut, or on the summit itself. If there isn't, it's gonna be a wasted trip, but let's just try it. I can use this. Oh, here it is, I can see it. Look, here's an example of warmer things. Uh, so these ones here, let's just repair these for the fun of it. For comparison's sake. Uh, let's repair them again. The leveling mending doing it, so who cares. Alright, ski gloves. See, they are war warmer. Actually, they are same as these ones. I think I'm thinking of the gauntlets. And these these things don't spawn on interloper, you see, so I'm a little rusty. So this one gives this. Now this one, by comparison, yeah, it gives more wind resistance and a little bit more protection. So it is better. But this one weighs 0 0.1, this one weighs 0 0.5, so it's heavier. And here's a hacksaw. So now we're good, use this. good for the summit. I want to check in here. Wait, Tools I... are very often near workbenches like this. No, no, we'll find a red one at the top. The best, the best uh, jacket in the game handy. on this difficulty is the expedition parker. There's usually two or sometimes three to be found. Usually one, sometimes two at the summit, and one somewhere else. That's pretty much random. Uh, let me see, let's just drop things we don't need. So I'm not carrying it around. Actually, I'm just going to put it in. Let's put it in here. Uh, well, this and that. Anything else? I... We don't yes. need all these painkillers. Oh, let's just take them with and put them in the cabin instead. Yeah, yeah, let's just do that. It's fine. Let's just stay the night here. That's the bed. Let's also use this lantern fuel to refill this. And let's eat something. Let's eat something salty like this. I should really eat the heavy stuff, but. Right, and I'll sleep like 10 hours or something. After my Voyager run, I might try stalk. Yeah, you should. If you, f if you feel you're getting the hang of Voyager and it's, it's fun, but it's getting a little bit too easy, then you should try Stalker. Don't try Interloper right away. I mean, you can, of course, if you want to. <laughs> but I wouldn't recommend it. But you can try. Oh, you gotta run speed. Okay. No worries. Thank you for dropping by. 
have a good night. Okay, let's wait two hours. Yeah. You have to wait two hours in order to trigger that you can sleep, you see. Blizzard, but it was done fancy. All right, let's go. Let's eat this. And this. And let's climb. <laughs> yeah, it's fun. How's it going with the watch? That's good. I have heard that one of the biggest game changing mechanics to difficulty jump would be that you don't get instantly warmed up by fire. Oh yes, that's true. I almost forgot about that. Uh, there's something called um, air temp, I think. So that if you are cold, even if it's minus 50 out, you know, and you, it says here minus 50, and you start a fire with just one stick, you know, then you will warm up. So the, the fire will automatically warm you up uh, to keep you safe. It's just a mechanic to make it easier for you. Well, on, I'm not sure that mechanic is in Stalker. I don't think it is. On the interloper it's off, for sure. On the interloper the fire burns in accordance to what you put on it. So if it's minus 50 out, <laughs> uh, if you're covered by wind it wouldn't be minus 50 out, probably, unless you're naked. But. Let's say it is minus 50. You're going to have to put a ton of sticks in there to warm up. Or, or coal. That's why an interloper coal yeah, is just brilliant to carry around. Because Wait, coal yeah. gives a lot of warmth. Like 20 or something. But a stick gives one. So, you, so you'll see players carry them around just for heating. <laughs> Thank you, Slick. <laughs> we did talk about streaming Overwatch together one day, so probably one day you'll you'll see that. Don't be surprised if there'll be other games I stream at some point, particularly later this autumn. Um, I don't think I'll become a variety streamer though, who streams for the sake of it when I play. But I'm more or less gonna stick to streaming almost whenever I play it, Long Dark. If it's not always with the mic, I guess. I might stream some Transport Tycoon or Hearthstone or watch or maybe PUBG when I get a better computer. Ooh. Oh, we'll see. But now though, it's only Long Dark. Let's see if there's a moose. Yeah, no, um... I do play quite a few games, but I tend to Ooh, stick to what I really like, so I tend to stick to a few games I like. I don't tend to try different games. Uh, I might try Grounded, that's out now. Oh, I didn't really like the look of it, but it's supposed to be pretty good. Uh, I like other survival games. Like Green Hell is pretty fun, but I find it pretty easy. Wait, 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 Stranded wait. Deep also I found pretty easy, but... Seems right. And... Uh, I haven't tried the forests, but we'll see. But other than this, I tend to play Hearthstone. Let's get this. PUBG. And lately I've been playing some Transport Tycoon. I mean, I've been playing that for 20 years on and off. Miss games now and then, you know, like Mass Effect or uh, Ooh, Assassin's Creed or something like that. And as is Uh yeah. I was watching the grounded game, seems okay. I like games that are mental oh, challenge. Oh, okay, when I Yeah, that I like that too. So I probably will I probably will try it out. It looks very different, but at least it's an interesting concept. My favorite uh, survival game other than The Long Dark though is Subnautica. I might stream that one day. 
but Subnautica isn't really a survival game though. It's super easy to survive that game, even on hard difficulty. I mean, you just gotta grab the fish that gives water and, you know, fish that gives food. It's, uh, once you get the hang of it, it's really easy to survive in that game. It's really not a survival game at all. But it's But it's good because of its aesthetics and mystery. It's an exploration game. It drives you to explore. Oh shit, look at this. National Geographic here. I might need these hides for repairs, so I'm going to steal this kill. Now, if I approach this wolf, you see he goes into like guard mode. Once I am down the site, he's going to charge me. I didn't hit him. You can also deter the wolf by just throwing a rock at him. I think I actually want to cook this food. Because, um... I want to make sure I have enough. Yeah, I would recommend Subnautica, not so much for the survival experience, because that's Too much stuff to really carry. easy. But for the exploration, like, you know, you're an alien planet in the ocean. You have no clue what's going on, but you know you need to go deeper and deeper and deeper into the ocean. But you don't have the equipment for it, so you need to find it, you need to research it, you need to progress slowly deeper and deeper, and you'll discover more areas and more fish and more monsters, and then you'll have to face the open sea and there's gigantic monsters that will one-shot you and so on. Uh, and it's really really fun. The only issue is that because the survival is so easy, once I had played it once, then I was done with the game. But it was good. <laughs> Let's sort ourselves out. Uh, this actually I would, would like this. to read. Oh, that's something I should mention. I totally forgot about this. Okay, so you know the books you can get. That's fine. How's the rifle? Okay. So you can find books like this that level up your shooting. That's <laughs> uh, something to uh, keep in mind. <laughs> For the rifle, there are two types of books. There is a normal uh, book, called, I think it's called Frontier Shooting or something like that. And then there's another one called Guns, Guns, Guns. The thing is that they work a bit differently. Once you reach level 4 rifle, you can't read the normal books anymore. So once you get to rank 4, you can't read those books to rank up more in the skill. However, you can read the Guns, Guns, Guns book whenever you want, and the Guns, Guns, Guns book gives you 25 skills. So if you find one, there tends to be maybe two per game. They are very rare, but they are around. There's probably two of them. If you find it, do not read it. Wait until you are uh, rank four here on the rifle, and then, then you read it. So just keep that in mind. This will come in handy. Right, load of stuff that I picked up for such no reason. Oops. <laughs> Scared of a wolf. Yeah, so if you find that slick, just uh, I save it. With this much gear. I mean, unless you want to use the right away to level up. Oh, feel free to do that, of course. I'm not going to tell you how to play. But uh, there's no real reason for you to do that. I mean, you want to survive in the uh, long run anyway, right? <laughs> put one of these in there, put the arrows in here. We don't really need these. Let's get a couple anyway, though. We don't need this mount of these. We don't need one of these. Just 
dumping everything I don't need in here. We'll take the high end stuff with us. Let's keep that because it's going to disappear. Let's cook the meat also. Put this in here. This. Let's drop this. Nothing more sleep, eh? I'm gonna start a fire. Yeah, I could use my ninja trick, but it's not really necessary. Oh, on this difficulty. Let's just do this. <laughs> Usually. <laughs> Let's head to the summit. I'll do the normal route. Show you how to get there. Now for the summit, especially for your first time when you're not you know, all that sure about the route, you want to make sure you're supplied when you go there. Make sure you have enough water. I mean, you can stop and cook it, of course, and carry things that give a lot of stuff, like that are light, like these crackers, maybe beef, maybe these things. Uh, if you have MREs, which I don't have, carry those. So the first few times I went to the summit, I, I went around the world and I picked up MREs, but I didn't eat them. Those rations, you know, the blue one. And when I went to the summit, I brought three or four of them with me. And I just lived off that, so I knew if I needed more time, I, I had food. So that's something you can do. For me, though, because I've done it so many times, I don't really need to do that. But that's a tip to uh, just keep in mind. Alright, let's cook these things. And while they cook, we're going to read this. Read this an hour. Generally speaking, whenever you cook stuff, stuff like meat or make water, it'll take long enough that you can read the book for one hour so you can multitask. Let's just read this. I think that's it. There's one more, one more, I think. Let's make some water also. This will be good as we always do it in the dark. Yeah, exactly. We'll make sure to get up there as, as visible as possible. Like I'll take stops and stuff so it's easy to see what's happening. So otherwise the whole point of an educational stream is pointless. Uh, this, you could argue, you could take this with you because there's one place you really want to add a rope, but only take it with you if you can carry it. Usually you'll find one or sometimes two ropes up there. So don't worry too much about it. Now let's dump the this here. And let's just clean this a little bit. Uh, coffee also, yeah, coffee is good. And stims, I would always carry, especially if it's your uh, first I time, I would yeah. carry at least one stim because this makes it so uh, much easier to get up good. there. So I would recommend doing that. Have one stim. Let's try another long range that. shot. <laughs> For the fun of it. I don't think he even flinched. I don't think he even goes that far. Yeah, you can just sky yeah, down, exactly. Waste right. of bullets, but that's okay. We'll do some more practice shots <laughs> at the end of the stream. Alright, so these are ruined, but you can still eat them. I'm going to keep in mind also, if you eat these, you will get food poisoning because they're ruined. However, if you're level 5 cooking, which is arguably one of the strongest abilities in the game, if you're level 5, you never get food poisoning. So you can now eat this. But you don't, what you don't want to do, however, is do not put these that are ruined in a container because it will make them go away. Probably they'll patch that at some point in the future. I'll show you. So if I go here now and I put this in here, it will disappear like this. 
Oh, it didn't disappear. Oh, there it is. See, yeah, it resisted the light. It disappeared because it counts as ruined. So if you do that, you'll lose it. So don't do that. All right, let's. Uh, oh, tengo a Dumpies. Estás viendo Dumpies? Let's see this. We're gonna smash it open. Yeah, we'll skyrim down. Yeah, just pile them up. If you find ruined stuff, I mean, you can just dump it. But usually, what I do is, if I do find it and I can't, read them, just yeah, stack it somewhere, eat it later, you know. Or you can cook it if you want to level cooking. Just cook it, but don't eat it because you can. Um, you can still level cooking that way. Uh, let's see, click milk. We should be fine. Once you're level five cooking, you are you're pretty much set. Right, let's head. Let's sleep. Uh, I think it's not that late, but character's very tired, so let's uh, let's sleep. Till the next day. Let's just sleep for 10 hours. Uh, this particular run, I think, is like close to 80 days. Let's just see. We'll say when we wake up. Oh, okay, 66 days. My bad. Let's wait for more light. Let's uh, just uh, get daylight going. We can read the book. I can finish reading this. Wolf is hunting again. Um, this is pretty clear. I think we can head out now, right? So you can see. No, they must leave it. Let's just eat this. I'll eat this as well. And this. And let's go. Now there are two routes to get down there. I showed you one that you climb down, you know, you Skyrim down. <laughs> uh, let's not do that for the sake of it. Let's go the normal route, which there are two ways. Uh, I'm gonna go the one I usually go. Because there's a um, container down there. And the containers on Voyager has a ton of loot. Now this area, by the way, is a great area to just survive because you have the cabin, you have a fishing hut, there's cattails all over the place, there's deer roaming around, there's wolves if necessary, over on that hill there, there's rabbits, there's a bear over here that can walk up to here, and there's a moose that can spawn either there or behind this hill. So you got everything in this area. You really don't need anything else. Actually, there's a container the other way too, so... I never can do the audio. Okay, so once you get to this area here, be a little bit careful because you're close to the bear cave. Once you get here, there's the bear cave. Let's just try and take the bear on with this rifle. So, you want to hit him in the head really for this. Let's see. Oh, broken coffee cup. Thank you for the raid. Thank you for dropping by. You're just in time to witness me either succeed or fail badly uh, trying to get a bear with the rifle. So, you can crouch and get close, but the issue is with the bear, unlike the wolves, they do so much damage if they get you. So I'm going to get up here on this rock, because if he does charge me, and I don't kill him, you can jump down. I can get him to run up, let's see, there is better, up here, and I can just jump down. So let's do that. So hey, hey again, a broken coffee cup. Thank you for the raid, and I hope that your stream went well. So what we're doing today is a Voyager run, just to show some gun mechanics and some general survival tips. 
rather than directly into the local FBI. And I also take requests. So if you or any of this, your raiders would like to know something or see something, just let me know and I'll show it as best as I can. And right now we're heading to the summit and I'm trying to get there on a clean day, like a visible day. There's the summit up there so people can see. All right, so let's get this bear. Let's try and hit him in the head. All right. So we got him. Remember to pick up your casings and reload. Bear down. If you hit him in the head with the rifle, he will often go down. This cave is right there. Uh, we don't need any of this stuff. But I'm going to leave them here in case we want to pelt for later. Since this is more of an educational uh, run. So we don't, I'm not going to spend the time doing this stuff since we're heading for the summit. But normally I would make a fire uh, probably here because of the wind in case it picks up. Here it's sheltered. And you start harvesting them. You can quote them if you want. This is the only thing I really want. Uh, in fact, what we're going to do is we're going to harvest the hide and put it... <laughs> this is going to sound really bad. We're going to harvest the bear hide and dump it in the bear cave to cure. It's the ultimate insult, right? So this is the bear cave. If you didn't know already, by the way, you can tell this is a bear cave because of these skeletons there, the bones. Caves that have these bones signify that this is a bear cave. So you want to, you know, not be in one, basically. Oops, I don't. Alright, I can stay in cure. <laughs> uh, Alright. Now, let's see. Um, let's just eat coffee. Coffee from for the coffee. Alright, so now that you're here, and you avoided the bear, you killed it. Never felt so cold you can life. go one or two routes to the summit. Don't, the one I did on the stream yesterday is down here, this Skyrim down, but let's ignore that. So you can go down here, and that will take you to a cave and some containers, or you can go this way, and that will also take you to some containers, and you have to go over a, a log. Now, I'm gonna go down here. I'm just gonna check here first to see if the moose is here. Because there are moose markings, you see. If you didn't know, but I presume you did. This course. indicates that a moose can spawn here. Not necessarily right here and right now, but it can spawn here. So let's see if the moose is around. Yeah, it is around. So let's just hunt the moose while we're at it, at it just for the sake of it. So let's, go, let's just get the moose. The moose is just like the bear. And we really don't want to get killed or trampled by the moose because it will mean we can't climb. So let's see if we can get an angle on him, like with the bear. Let's get a bit closer, and if you can hit him in the head, all the better. Yeah, let's get a clean shot. <laughs> yeah, that's true, Slicky. can spawn in the blizzard. All right, let's take our time with this. Yeah, you run, wolf. For the same reason as the bear, I want to harvest this, uh, and we're just gonna warm up for the sake of it, so we don't freeze. So I don't think the first shot hit him in the head, maybe it did, and because I'm not high enough rank with the rifle, it just didn't kill him, because moose are tough. Uh, or I could have hit him in the shoulder, Are you serious? maybe. But yeah, that's how you do it. So, because I was on a branch there, like a log, he can't charge me. And even if he does, I can just jump down. 
So if he runs away like that, you can take another shot if you feel confident, which I did. And it will usually go down as long as one of them, you know, hits. How long does this take? 24 minutes and this... That's fine. This is also, um... Cook this. Uh, if, he do, if he runs away, then uh, he'll run someone, you have to track him and this whole thing, so it's better just kill him once you can. Let's just do this. Just for future use. Let's drink this. We'll go back to the cave. I might actually want this for repairs also. Let's get to the cave. So when you're at low level you have to be close enough to hit something and so say aim won't be good. Yeah, more or less, yeah. It's kinda like with the bow. The weapon sways. Um, now because I don't play that much Voyage, I don't remember exactly how this scales, but you see here the range has been increased at level 3, crit goes up, and you repair it faster. And I think at 4 the sway is reduced a little bit, and you have higher crit chance. Uh, I don't remember what level 5 does, I don't think I've ever gotten to level 5. We can look, uh, we can look it up though. But yeah, you, regardless of what level you are, you want to take your time. Try and remember the crouch, because crouch reduces aggro range. It's harder for them to see you. And get as close as you can, and try to hit them in the head. And take your time, you know, don't rush it. Just take as long as you need, and aim for the head. And if possible, it's not always possible, but if possible, do it from a safe location. Somewhere where you can abandon if they charge you. So, for example, here is not great, but here is good. Or here is even better. Because, let's say I'm shooting the bear. You know, and then the bear runs and he comes up here. Then I can just jump off like this. They'll usually break aggro. You can twist an ankle, but you'll survive. Uh, the moose would have been a disaster if the moose had killed me, because, uh, not killed me, but hit me, because I can't climb with the broken ribs. Okay, so we're going to take the, this route to Timberwolf Mountain, but where I killed the moose, there is another route you can take. Okay. Just get up on the hill and there's a log, cross the log, and when you cross the log you end up up there. So you can do that. But I'm going to take this route. That's actually... Uh, fix the pain so you can see better. Uh, hope this is useful, by the way. You know, let me know if this is not interesting and I'll play something else. <laughs> so let's check here. There should be some containers also. How heavy am I? Not heavy. been using some uh, stamina though to run, but, uh, so your stamina also affects your aiming time. If you look now, you only go for so long depending on the stamina. Alright, so let's check in here quick, a little hidden area. Once you see this, go here. And here you will find, so let's just grab a couple of sticks. And you'll find this guy. We don't need any of this, but this is pretty good loot, actually. Like a scarf and this, that's great. Wonder if uh, this is we'll take the nuts, I guess. Can you go up here? Mm, not really. Okay. And then when we reach over here, there's a cave on our left, so let's check that out too. And 
I think there is a wolf down here because I heard him earlier. The howls of the wolves is, makes it easy to uh, identify where they are and how many. Here's an Aurora uh, message. You can also sleep here if you want. Again, if you didn't know this already, the caves have two faces. This is the outdoors. You can see it feels like 4 degrees. Step in a little bit, like around here. It now feels like 14 degrees. So this is like the indoor part of the cave, so it's warmer. All right. Let's keep moving. And here there should be two containers on the on voyage difficulty. On Lopa there'll be zero or one. On voyage there should be two. And I'm pretty sure there is a wolf around. Pretty sure. No? Alright. So here's the first container. And he dropped the hacksaw. I mean, let's make up a story about this guy. It might be a woman. Let's say it is. This is uh, Helga. Helga was stuck in a blizzard. And she saw this container and she wanted to open it. And as she ran to it, she fell and froze to death. And never made it. <laughs> Let's check. This is gonna have a ton of loot, and we don't really need any of it, but we'll loot some of it. Matches, lots and lots and lots of matches. Helga, you named your cat Helga? That's great. Oh, Helga. Uh, don't need this. That's good. We don't need it, though, because you're a good game. But what we're looking for is the Chikinawa sweater, or whatever it's called. So much of it. On interloper, you would find three items in there probably, but on this difficulty, a Floki. That's cute. Uh, we'll take this and that. So they, this is food that weighs nothing, and it gives you a lot of food. So let's just take these. Mm -hmm. Let me know if I'm going too fast and you want to go slower. Oh, this is this is gold, coffee, and herbal tea is great for healing. You don't need it, but I'll take it. Not heavy of it, not too heavy. Uh, we can climb up here if you want. And you get to the top of this uh, hill, I mean mountain, and there's some loot up there, but uh, I don't think I've ever climbed up there except for once, just to see what was up there. It's not really worth it. Alright, so then you're gonna head up this path here. It's a bit easier now when it's not in the dark, right? Oh, there is the wall. Where have you been? <laughs> okay, it's too far apparently. He didn't even flinch. I'm guessing he if he doesn't react, then you know. Mm -hmm. Okay, so here is a cave on your left. You can go in here and you can sleep there and you'll be warm. Not sure why I feel so tired. Uh, and you'll come out on the left side of the mountain. It, but if you want to climb the summit, you'd have to go back because on the left side, you, you can't get to the summit from there. You can only get to the summit from there if you have attached the missing rope, which of course we haven't. So you want to go right. Continue on this path. We're going to have to sleep, actually. Or use stims. Let's just eat a coffee. I got so much of it now. There's not going to be any walls right here, so we're fine. But yeah, feel free to make requests if there's anything you want to see or learn about, and I'll do my best. 
<laughs> Including new runs, preferably not on Pilgrim, because Pilgrim is just an easier version of Voyager. The but, team mm. still game. <laughs> but if you really wanted to, I could do it. And this cave, I believe, counts as indoors. So you can sleep here pretty safely. Now, here's the thing about this location in terms of getting to the summit. Let's just check the loot first. You know, we'll get that. We'll get this. What have we here? Mm, yes, we'll take that. Potato chips. Alright, so the fastest way up now is this way. Here. But this place also has a rope missing. It's right there. This one. So you find a rope, you can attach it, but it's just a shortcut. It doesn't make much difference. What I usually do is I'll take the rope from where I'm headed now, and I'll attach it there. I'll show you what I mean. So because the rope's not there, we have to go around. So let's go this way. Uh, there shouldn't be any wolves here. I don't think I've ever seen a wolf up here. So we'll be fine. Uh, I do want to sleep a bit to recover some stamina though. Or drink more coffees, I guess. If you head to the right here, follow this path, you'll get to where the rope is, the one I pointed out earlier. That's that's here. There's no point going there. Now once you're here, just keep following this path here. But uh, that's a rabbit. Okay, ooh, rabbits. High octane action here, you know. <laughs> Alright, so when you're here, you now have to go left or right, so you want to go left. Go here. It's basically, once you get to that cave I was just at, just hug the wall on your left. And you'll get to the rope. Uh, I probably will upload this stream, I think, on YouTube, so if you want, you can check it out later in case there's anything you forgot, if you want, just tips. Now, uh, here's the rope, as you can see. So this is how we get to the next stage. However, because we're so low on stamina, um, I'm gonna rest a bit. Now there's a cave, so once you see the rope go right, there's a cave over here. A little bit further, I believe. <laughs> oh my god, we got caught in the wind. And I'll try and wait until morning so the, the lighting is better, because we are not struggling with food, so... Here's the cave. So we can rest here, this is a good place to stop. Now if you continue over here, this way, you will get to a log that you can cross, and that's the other way in here. So where we killed the moose, this basically that way it leads to where the moose was. That's what it does. Now, if you have poor clothing, and you're not really that warm in the cave, you should maybe make a fire, and then sleep. But we should be fine. Uh, we're in the indoor cave, and we're quite well stopped, so we're fine. Oh, why am I carrying this? Sprinkles. Let's sleep here. Um, let's just eat, let's eat heavy stuff. Like this. I actually want to be a little bit thirsty, but we're gonna just get to the next day. And yeah, sleep, uh, Whatever, 12 hours. Right, and then we'll drink some more. 
And now we're going to wait. Uh, it's quite clear, but let's just wait. Wait four hours, let's see. Oh, Normally yes. the mornings are very cold. The best time to go out is the midday and later when it gets warm. But on voyage oh, difficulty, yes. as long as you have okay gear, I wouldn't worry too much about it. Alright, let's uh, sleep two hours small. Uh, it's still a bit too dark, so I'm gonna drink a little bit, but I wanna be a bit thirsty for the coffee. Let's wait an hour. Well, it's pretty light now, I would say. Let's head out now. And let's eat some more of this. To get thirsty. <laughs> and let's get to the rope. Shouldn't really run, but we're okay. Yeah, yeah hay una salida Such ¿no? fantastic music. <laughs> Yeah, that's soothing, isn't it? Let's see. Do you think you'll be able to find uh, Summit in this run, Slick, compared to the uh, Hopeless Rescue run? Another thing to keep in mind is that when you climb ropes, it's going to drain a lot of stamina uh, and fatigue. And you want your stamina meter here in the bottom right, you want it to be full. Because if you climb when it's low, you'll get exhausted and it will drain your fatigue even faster. And you don't want that. That's good, I'm glad it's like you. you just let me know if you want me to go slower or find something else out. Okay, so we're up. So what I often do here is, uh, you can just leave this rope, it doesn't make a difference, but I like to put it on the other rock that I pointed out earlier. So if you take this rope, and we're a bit heavy, but that's okay. Let's just be careful, there is a wolf here. Uh, yeah, that's a good idea, Sli. If you just want to learn the layout for the sake of it, to get to the summit, to know where to go. Uh, playing on Pilgrim is a good idea, because then the no predators way, yeah. will run away from you. So yeah, just for practice, do do a Pilgrim or a custom. All right, so let's go over here. And here's the other uh, uh, rope anchor, as you can see. Climbing anchor. So we're going to attach the rope that we picked up here. You don't need to do this, but it's faster uh, for future reference if you take the route that I just showed. If you take a different route, then it's not faster. <laughs> but I prefer what? it this way. So let's just attach this. Hey Anthony, welcome and thank you for the Prime subscription. How nice of you. We're getting close to the uh, the extra subs so we can make uh, the emotes. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, you now you can have the Sakna wave. I mean, why wouldn't you want that, right? Okay, so now you have the rope. Um, the cave we were in earlier is right there. That's where we were at. And then we walked around this way and climbed up the rope. How are you doing, Tony? Thanks again for the the subscription. 
The next emote we're making, by the way, is likely to be of my wife, because it was suggested, so we should make one of her. And I have an emote of you, that will probably be the one after that. And Hinterlands, the developers of this game, have given me permission to use items from the game as emotes. So I have um, some items from the game that I really like, that I'm going to turn into emotes, because they gave me permission to do that. But of course, we need uh, we need 15 subscribers for each each emote. But now we're one closer. Thank you to you. <laughs> yeah, I'm probably gonna make the air muffs, I think, uh, or the lantern or something. We'll see. Now, once you've put that rope down, it's like you want to go over here. This is a pretty good place. Uh, there's usually always deer here. It's called a deer clearing, as you can see. It's maple, some of the wolf, and there's also this. There's one container here. It's not always there on interloper, but on lower difficulties it's always here. <laughs> so let's see what we got. <laughs> Thanks again, Tony. How are you doing? Okay, pelts, we don't need these. Actually, I want the rabbit pelts. No, let's just leave this. <laughs> Oh, I, tools. In interloper, you don't usually get these because. Um, oh, maybe you do. I don't need any of this stuff. Let's just leave it. Okay, so over here is a cave, so this is um, a good place to stop. Oh, what's this? Unhandled exception. HP simplified. Hmm. And I just had an error message from HP fonts or some weird thing. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. So if if something crashes, if the stream crashes or something happens, that's that's why. But I don't, don't know why it would. But okay. But as you can see, anyway, here's the deer clearing. Lots of deer. So this is a good place to stop. So maybe you climb the rope and it's getting late or it's a blizzard or you need to rest. And it's a good uh, place to stop and you can hunt these deer and you get more food. JJ, how are you doing? Thank you for dropping by. So, sorry about my computer earlier today. It normally doesn't lag the game when I play, but with Streamlab uh, open, it screws me up. Ah, sorry to hear that. Um, do you have a bad computer, or is it just Streamlabs messing up? And some coal also, which uh, I guess we could pick this up. Yeah, let's pick it up. Let's pretend this is an interloper and I want this for warm. So you can stay here. You can stay here and you're warm and you can heat up. You can hunt the deer outside and you can have this like a little mini base. It's a perfectly good place to stop. Let's have another coffee. Normally you want to stay hydrated as much as possible, but I'm deliberately avoiding it just for the fatigue benefits of coffee. Um, you need a separate piece to stream the game. Oh, I see. I hope you get that. Uh, I'm streaming on a laptop. This laptop is really bad. Uh, if you watch, um, if you watch my YouTube videos, my PUBG ones, there's quite a few montages here and there of me just not even loading the game when my teammates are fighting, and it's just terrible. The computer can't handle it. Uh, but on this, but however, it can stream Hearthstone and the Long Dark, because the Long Dark takes hardly any CPU. It does heat up the computer, but it doesn't really require much. That there was buggy. Uh, but I don't think I can stream other games, so yeah, it's a bit tricky. But I have also limited how much I can output, so I have reduced the quality of the stream. It doesn't go higher than 1280. It doesn't go to 1080. I, I don't think so, at least. Unless I'm wrong. Uh, that's because the computer can handle it. If I use if I use the default settings on Streamlab, then it will take a lot of data and a lot more processing power, and I can't do it. So what you could do is you could check how much bits you transmit, and if it's very high, maybe turn that down. But yeah, another computer will help. So I'm hoping to get another computer this autumn, and that should make it easier to stream high quality and more games. 
so I'm using a, I'm using a laptop and I got the chat on my phone. <laughs> How is the elongated not bright? I'm not sure what you mean, Yonko. <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna continue. I didn't really narrate this slick, but once you're uh, that cave, the air crossing and that, you just wanna go right and you'll follow this little valley here. Oh, you transfer the lowest. Okay, it does sound like you need a better computer than JJ. You should open up donations for a charity stream just to get you a better laptop. <laughs> I'll donate to you. And when you become a Twitch affiliate, you can earn, you know, all those monies via the ads. I have earned a whopping 15 cents since I became an affiliate. <laughs> so, <yeah. laughs> All right, so we're gonna continue up here, and then there's two routes uh, to the summit from here. I'm gonna show the easiest one. Oh, wow, okay, that was sudden. He came out of nowhere, so we're gonna remember the tricks. Go up here on a high ground, so that if he charges, you can jump down. Take your time, hit him in the head. I don't think that hit him in the head. I think it hit him in the shoulder. Okay. The long dark the elongating, not bright. <laughs> that was a good one. I didn't catch that at first. Oh wow, he's running all the way back. Now to get up here, uh, let's do the normal route. I usually go here, this little shortcut. Let's just go the normal route. You go left here. Do a U-turn. Oh, really? Let's just scare this guy off. <laughs> uh, now, you, once you're here, so you see there's quite a few predators. You can go this way, on the left here. If you do that, you'll eventually reach a rope. And you can go up there and you get to a plateau, which I actually have to do on my loper run. So when we go back here on interloper, we'll go there because I haven't mapped it. You can go up to a plateau, and in that plateau there's a cave. And I think there's some loot in that cave. And that cave will lead you up uh, here. It leads you up here. So that's one way to do it, but we're gonna do the other way. The other, that's a bit cleaner. You're trying to fix the settings, or you might have to use PlayStation Remote to play. Ah, okay. I hope you get that sorted, uh, JJ. Because you're a good streamer, nice. you're, you're fun. So, uh, I mean, I'd, I'd watch you even with FPS drops, but if it's very bad FPS drops, it's a bit difficult to watch. But when I watched you today, I thought it was okay. I could tell you didn't have high FPS, but it was watchable. It wasn't bad, so I wouldn't worry too much about it. There's someone else on, uh, on the Facebook group, <laughs> unless that's you, <laughs> that has much worse FPS drop, and I find it very hard to watch. The bear is still running around. I think he's bugged. Alright, so this area, this is the Ooh Mushroom area. <laughs> From the trailer, that's right here. And uh, here you can see, this is a climbing anchor here, but I don't have the rope. For a shortcut, which we don't have. No, it wasn't that bad, JJ. I mean, it was laggy. But, uh, like I can tell, especially when you looted things. There was little little chops, you know, in the loading of the searching, but uh, it was fine. I think he died. Or is he sleeping? Oh, he's sleeping. We decided to go back for bed. Yeah, he had a rough night. And he decided to go and do it, take a nap. If he only knew. We're gonna leave him. We don't need him. Uh, 
but yeah, it was pretty good, I thought. You should watch your own VODs. Go back and watch your VOD, uh, JJ, uh, at least when I was on. <laughs> and you'll see it's not that bad. It's perfectly watchable, I think. Yeah, you can, yeah, that's a good idea, JJ, just in case. Uh, Slick, I found that those who put it on YouTube, you have to manually adjust the settings to make them more. Yeah, that's true, J uh, Slick. That is true. Hmm. Unfortunately. So I doubted I even could stream. Because I didn't think the computer could handle it, but it can, so. That's why in the beginning I only made YouTube videos. Okay, so now we're here. So get past the bear. If you take the other route I that I talked about, which I'll show another time, you can avoid the bear completely. But if you can't, yeah. you will follow this trail up here. And you get to what's called Eric's Falls. Okay. Eric's Falls is a pretty good area. There's rabbits. There's deer, as you can see. There's birch. There's cattails. There's also a wolf running around. And there's a cave, which we're not going to stay in because it's too Ooh. noisy. But here is a cave, right here. Where you can warm up. Waterfall cave. You can sleep here. Let's actually warm up a little bit. Let's read, read an hour of this. Uh, do you have more coffee? No, oh, let's just make some coffee quickly. So let's make some water first. And uh, while we wait for it, we'll read a bit more. Sorry about the noise of the waterfall. Oops. Make some coffee. Just speed cooking here. Let's keep going. How much water? And they'll do. Alright, let's continue. So when you get out of this cave... You have the waterfall, that's the wolf. Just a good sneaking opportunity, actually. So, you got there. You can see on a voyage there's quite a lot of there. See three of them. There's birch over there. There's cattails here. There's rabbits running around. So this can be another base. So when you go to the summit, I mean, you can do it in one go, like I did yesterday. But you want to take it in phases. You can sleep down by the ravine in that cave. You can sleep in the cave before the rope. You can sleep in the cave in this crossing. You can sleep in this cave, and so on. Just take it step by step by step. If you need a whole week to get to the summit, then take a whole week. Just take it slow. Make sure you learn the route and get up this safe, you know, don't stress about it. Let's get this wolf. Where did he go? Not even that. This is an example of crouch hunting. If he is... There he is. Oh, he's already seen me, so this is scare him off then. Alright. There's also... Um, I a container here. There's a lot of, on Voyager, there's lots of scattered containers. Most of them are up here on the summit, but there's a few around, so we already found a, a couple. There's another one here, and then there's another one down there, and there's another one below that. And the rest are at the summit. So let's just see what's in here. We don't need any of it, but... 
Let's just check. In case there's anything, we don't need that. We don't need this or this. We're just gonna leave all of this. But I'll take the stim if there is one. Oh. You see what I mean? But it's not bad. Yeah, exactly. I'm glad you checked. So for me, it was fine. I've seen much. I've seen streamers with much worse lag. Take this food. Let's take one of these, just for the um, the can. Let's leave the rest. Normally, I pick it all up and you'd cook it. Now here's something important. If you're going to the summit and you reach this point, the next step is to climb up here. This is the rope up to the summit. However, when you come back down, let's say you're doing a long run and you want to get back up to the summit another time, which actually we have to do in my local run. This is a shortcut to get back up over here. Here, here is a climbing anchor. As you can see, the rope is missing. However, if you deploy it, you can climb up here from here. There's a container here as well. This area here, uh, this river that you see here, leads all the way to the mountainous hut. You just follow the river, and it will take you to a waterfall where there's another rope, and the rope is there. Climb that down, and just continue to follow the river, and you'll reach the mountainous hut. So if you find a rope, you can attach it here, and then in the future, you can just follow the river back up here, and climb up, and then you get to this Place. So now you can actually get from the Mountaineer's Hut in like, you know, one in-game hour or something. So instead of taking the whole route, the long route around we have taken, you can just climb up here. But you have to get a rope to do that. And of course, you, the first time you go to the summit, you have to take the long route. Okay, so keep that in mind. We will most likely will find the rope on the summit. Which is why I usually don't take a rope with me when I do this. There's almost always a rope, either at the summit or up here. So let's see if that's the case now. But if you're if you're traveling very light, um, you, you could always uh, carry one if you want. All right, we should have enough stamina to get up there. heavy but this isn't very long but we don't have enough stamina to get to the mountain top all right so we're almost there now there's two locations to keep in mind this plateau right now one is a cave, this cave right here. It's a little tricky to get up there because of how they put the map, but uh, just, just, you know, like this usually is how I do it. Yeah, God, I guess it's over here then. Yeah, like this. It's a little bit flimsy, but you can get up here. I don't know why they did it like this. And there you can go and stay warm. This is the cave that you exit if you took the other route I talked about. Where instead of going where we went, but you went the other way, you and exit from this cave. The other location is over here near the rabbits. Now there's no wolves here. From this point on, there are no predators. So you don't need the weapons, but I'm just using it as pointers. Very often, you'll find a rope here. And there is indeed a rope here. Uh, we don't need this because I'm already level 5. And now you can take this rope and you can put it in the anchor I just showed you. And now you can access the summit a lot easier the next time. So you just take that with you. I might have to drop some gear. And put it over there. 
we're gonna do that later. Uh, we're not gonna Skyrim down. We're gonna go down the like normal way, and we'll put it down later. If you found two ropes, because often there is a rope on the summit as well, you can take this rope, and you can put it over here. Let's continue this way. And you get to another climbing anchor over here. Here's, here's the climbing anchor. And you can put it here. And this is another shortcut. And if you look down here... Uh, this is where we shot the bear. The bear was attacking me right there. That's where I shot the wolf. And just below me, like here, is where I said, oh, mushrooms. <laughs> Uh, and what we have done is we, this is the deer clearing over there, we went like this, and over here, and over here, and along this road here. And if we had gone this way, like this, and up here, climbed the rope and into a cave, we would have come out of the cave over here. So you can put a rope here, but the, this rope is only really useful if you are taking the long way around anyway, and you want to get up to the summit from here. I mean, you could just really walk from here all the way around. It's not really that much of a shortcut. We could do it. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, mushrooms. <laughs> oh, you fixed it, Jada. That'd be amazing. Uh, now, once you reach this point, this is the last rope, and it's the hardest rope. Because it's really, really long. There are only a few ropes in the game that are this long. It's this one. And the ravine rope is really long as well. Uh, I think that's it. Ah, uh, no, the, the rope in Bleak Inlet that you attach is also quite long. Now, we don't have the stamina to get up there. So, now I have two options. One is to go back to the cave, either the one over here, where we found the rope, or the one we exit. The one we exit is the safest because it's indoors, so you'll be warmer. And you can go and sleep. Sleep until the next day and then climb up. Or, if you feel like it, use a stim. And that's what we are going to do because we're not going to wait around. And if you're feeling safe and the run's going well, I mean, you can use it for this purpose if you want. The stims are there for a reason, they are rare, they are meant to save you in a pinch. So you should really use them if you're dying. If you're stuck in a blizzard, you're dying, you're freezing to death, use it. Because the stim will heal 15% of your health instantly and make you run for two minutes or one minute. Uh, so it's meant for emergencies. But we're going to use it just to climb up here. So let's do that right now. This will be enough for you to climb the rope and run a little bit. It is not enough to climb both ropes. If you're at the rope we were just at, the rope over here, if you are there, and you're exhausted and you use the stim, you will climb the rope or you will not be able to climb this. You will be able to reach the rope and climb it a little bit, but you won't get up. So you, you would need to use two stims. So if that's the case, it's better to rest in the cave by the waterfall, rest there, get enough stamina, climb up here, and then use the stim if necessary. So let's go up now. You can get up here without a stim easily, you just need to make sure you're well rested. But we're not going to do it right now. If you run right away now, if it's a blizzard for example, and you start running, just run straight, just run straight. Say you're in a blizzard, and you still have some stim left, and if you just run straight, you'll pretty much hit, hit the tail right away. So now you're at the summit. Congrats, you made it up to the summit. You get an achievement for this, by the way. If it's your first time, there's an achievement. There's the tail. The best loot in the game is here. At least in this difficulty. Uh, before we go, there are a couple of things you should know about this area. Uh, there's a cave here that a lot yes. of people don't know about because I sometimes see streamers say, like, what cave yeah, are you talking that. about? Now, when you get up here, uh, from this anchor, 
can see the tail right there. Straight. Let's drink a coffee. Uh, instead of going to the tail, go left. Go here. This is where the famous, uh, or the infamous, ice wall was at during the Winter's Embrace event. That was buggy. You go left and you see there's a cave here. See? And again, no predators here. So you don't need to worry about that. Uh, I have seen rabbits here before, but I think that was a bug. I think it's patched out. So here's a cave. So if it's bad weather, you don't have firewood, you can stay here. There's, uh, I don't know, Gary. Gary didn't hope he made it to the summit, but no further. And as you can see, there is a rope here. So we can take that down. We're not going to let Billy go down. Oh, look at this. Look at this. One out of probably two books. So we're going to wait to read this. So those who are tuning in who didn't catch when I talked about this before. Uh, there are two types of books for guns. And when I say guns, I mean the rifle, not the revolver. This one here you should not read until you get to rifle level 4. Because the normal book for rifles will teach you uh, rifle skills up to level 4 and then it will stop. If you try to read it at level 4, it will say you are too high level to read this. So it's useless. However, this one you can read whenever you want and you'll level it. And it gives 25 or so, say 25 hours to read this book. <laughs> so you want to save this book until you're level 4. And in here it's warm, you can stay here and sleep here. Alright, let's continue to the okay. tail end. There's usually lots of sticks and wood here, so you should be fine. There's tea, but really, once you get up here, you are set. You're not going to die up here. I mean, unless you used every resource you had to get up here. Let's see. So here's the tail end. This is the highest point in the game, I believe. By far the hardest. Uh, there's a couple other smaller things to loot here, rather than the tail. Uh, up here there's nothing. You don't need to go there. The only reason you would want to go there is to Billy Goat or Skyrim down to the plateau. That's the only reason. But up here, there's a corpse. Yeah. Uh, John didn't have a good day. Okay, let's pick the feathers up. So there's two other corpses. I'll show you all of them before we begin looting. Here's the other one right here. If you have seen my climbing Next. video... Oh, well, we don't need this, I guess. Uh, that was filmed up there. That's where I filmed it from. Alright, so here's the tail. The tail section, which has just ridiculous loot, especially on Voyager. I think it even has a weapons uh, container. So on Voyager, the earlier you get it, the better, because you got all of this loot. Uh, on Interlo, actually, it goes through all difficulties. On Interlo, also, you want to get there as soon as possible because you get a lot of good clothing. Before we loot it, though, uh, I want to show you uh, some loot that a lot of people forget about or don't know about. So they usually think this is it. But there is actually another level to this plane. Here you can see, by the way, the, but you can go down here. Boom, and here's a corpse. This corpse will very often have maple on him after the Winston Brace. And we'll there you go, later. see, like I said, maple. Sometimes he has two maples. In this case, they had an MRE. Uh, let's go for the view here. So here's the view of Timberwolf Mountain. So, the um, Mountaineer's Hut, your base, is here. You can see the pier. 
that's where your base is. That's the lake. Uh, we killed the bear around here. The moose we killed over there. And all we did to get there was we walked this way, like here, down the ravine, in the ravine, here's the ravine where the wolf was. Then we walked up here and over here. Then we walked around this bend, climbed the rope, and then there crossing and so on. Now once you are here, to get back up, you have to go down here, go under and over here. Uh, don't go further down. If you if you now if you didn't know this already, if you go down here, you can just Skyrim down this Billy Goat down, and it will take you down here. And that's basically the mountainous hut, so you're home free. But if you start going down, you can't go back up. So don't do that. Come on, all right. So that's pretty much all the extra bits you need to know about the summit. Now let's deal with the tail end itself, which has a ton of loot. If you are cold, you can just make a fire. I would recommend building the fire probably here. And then you'll be warm looting all the stuff. There's a few misc loots around, this often here. Yeah. Hope nobody needs this anymore. Usually a flashlight or something like that. You might as well pick that up. Uh, cooking book, we don't need that. This box often has a rope in it. Mm -hmm. uh, it did not today, but one of these tend to have loot in it. If it's not that one, it's probably going to be this one that has uh, matches, probably. I need anything. Sun setting. Yeah, it's going to get a lot so colder soon. You can see it has matches and things. Let's just eat stuff uh, over here. Eat the... Hey, no problem, Slick. Happy to help. Let's just give it some Something of this food. Go. All right. Uh, and then there's some wood around. I sure you might as well just pick up. And then there is a crate here. It's also usually a crate here, not today, but here's the hacksaw I talked about. This hacksaw is often here. So you can climb the summit without the hacksaw, and this could spawn here. But, you know, it might also not. <laughs> oh, hey, Nerdy. How are you doing? Yeah, the boxes will have loot, but only some boxes have loot. I, if I break these down, there almost certainly will not be loot in them. Only specific boxes have loot. So, on the summit, one of them always has loot. And then, uh, in Fallen Musk Egg, there's two boxes that have loot. And in Bleak Inlet, the boxes have the cans in them, the tuna. Now, of course, before we start on the containers, remember to pick this up. The Distress Pistol. There's only two of these in the game. There's this one. Can't be too careful. Never mind that I just did that. And um, there's one in the ravine. However, on Voyager difficulty, you can find shells around the game. On interloper difficulty, you will not find more shells. You will only find the shells here and in the ravine. That's it. And just to signify, and there's another one. It's a spray can. Wonder if this is any good to eat. Don't need this or this. And just to celebrate that we actually made it here. Okay. Uh, <laughs> You're good. Noted on the box. Yeah, only some boxes have it. You, can, you still might want to break them down for wood, but only some boxes have it. All right. Now with that in mind, I think it might be Aurora, isn't it? Yeah, it is Aurora. So we can use this then. Oh, it hasn't it hasn't activated yet. All right, fine. 
Oh yeah, JJ. Uh, if you want to experiment how long you can live here, that's a good thing to try out. If you do this on Voyager, you could live here a long time, especially if you use like starvation tactics. You can probably live at the summit for weeks, I would say. Probably weeks. An interloper, a bit less. Depends on how much you brought with you. Alright, so let's see. So there, these are pretty random, but some of them are fixed. Uh, usually you will find medicine in one of these. And you usually find tools, I think, in this one. I think weapons are in here. Uh, the rest are food, and I'm not sure if they're random or not. I never really looked into it. But I think one of these have medicines. Let's just start. Now, I already have, actually, before I start, I already have good loot, so I don't really need much. But if this is a new run or whatever, you I mean you want to loot as much as possible. But we're going to check all of them. What I'm looking for in this particular run, because I already have pretty good loot, are the rare items that are better. So what I want is the Expedition Parker, which is the best jacket in the game. I want the sweater, which is called... Chi something sweater, I forgot what it's called. Uh, it's a rare sweater. Uh, these do not spawn on interloper, but on Voyager they do. I want another one of these. And I want pants that are better than the dead pants. Maybe one more of these. And you know, maybe some bullets or something. So let's get going. Hey Philip, thank you for dropping by. Uh, we're just looting the summit. This has been an educational voyage this stream. We're just giving lots of tips and bits and bobs. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, yeah. So, like I said, this is the medicine one. Uh, I'm not going to pick any of this up, except for the stim. There's the stim. This one, I think, is random. I'm not sure. I've never really tried mapping it out. Also on interloper, but not all of these spawn. Could end uh, up being useful. Bullets. More bullets. A whole rifle. Seizure rifle. More bullets, more bullets. If this was a really long run, and I was really invested in this run, I would pick up these rifles, and I would take it down to the mountain airsat down there, and I would just save it. We're not going to do that. All right, let's see if this is working now. All right, it is. Yeah, so. I never used the flashlight because the flashlight doesn't spawn on interloper, so. But we're gonna use it here. This one I think is random, it will have food or clothes. It's yeah, don't here. need this, this, nope. This could be good. This is, these are the best boots in the game uh, on Voyager and Stalker, not on interloper. They don't spawn on interloper. These are the best socks in the game. The climbing socks are the best. We don't need them, we have two. Uh, I don't, yeah. This will probably also be random. I could use uh, this. Uh, okay, here's the, the shirt slot. We don't need this. This is a very good one. Don't need it. This is the second best sweater in the game, but we have two. And here's the parker. This is the best jacket in the game. What have we here? We found two parkers. Now the the climbing socks are better. I can show you. I'm pretty sure they are better. Let's just repair this for the sake of okay, whatever. As you can see, they weigh the same. They both weigh 0 0.25. But the climbing socks gives one degree, while this one gives half. No wind resistance, this gives wind resistance. It's, it's, it's better in every way. So go for the climbing socks. Uh, actually, let's keep it for... for Okay, then we have the Parker, which is the best in the game. As you can see, the Parker weighs the same as the Mackinac shirt, but gives a lot more warmth. So you want to have two of these, really. Uh, alternatively, you could put on 
a windbreaker or something. I don't know where two of these. Alright, let's loot the next, but before we loot the next, I'm just going to get a drink. I'll be right back. Uh, let me just, while I'm out to get the drink, you can watch the highlight from the speedrun. <laughs> the be right back. Yeah, you can watch this in the meantime. If, if I, I do, do it again, I'm going to now do it the sack way, which is the walking strategy I talked about. That was the idea, at least. Seventeen. What was Kimmy's record? Twenty-one. Oh wow! We <laughs> I beat Kimmy's record. No, be quiet. By an really hour. Me. All right, we're back. <clears throat> Just had to get a drink. Um, if you hadn't seen that trailer before, that was for the hopeless speed run we did yesterday, where I beat Kimmy with his uh, records. But it turned out that he had a record that was faster than this. He just didn't have a video of it. So I have to beat it again, but I'll do it another time. Thanks, JJ. Yeah, I made it uh, myself. I made that one today. I've been editing. Uh, it's an, I'm an amateur editor. I'm not a professional, but I've been uh, amateur editing for about seven, 17 years, I would say. Let's see. And we're back. Anyway. You can check out other videos on YouTube, but I don't have that many uh, long dark uh, videos. I have some. Alright, let's loot the rest. So I'm pretty sure all of these are random at this point, except maybe down. Oh. Wait, why did that kill the... Oh, oh well, let's just check. Just what I and we got knives, and uh, I'll take one. That shit, so I don't need any of that. Hacks. <laughs> the, the irony, there's a hacksaw inside a container, which you need a hacksaw to open. Emma, always useful. Uh, pretty sure I have one already, so we're gonna leave it. Yeah, as if we didn't need enough tools, you know. Oh, the hacksaw broke. Oh no. The hacksaw is broken. What should we do? Oh, maybe there's a hacksaw in here. Oh yeah, there's three of them. Oh, okay. But we ruined the container. <laughs> So when that, that's a bit annoying, um, I didn't really look at the condition, but when you break, sorry, when do we break the hacksaw, you also break the lock, so you can't open this anymore. 
So that's a good lesson. Make sure you check your condition of this. If it's uh, if it's lower than 50, it can break, but it usually won't break. But if it's getting to like 20, 30, then you're at high risk of it breaking. Um, so if that happens, you can't open this anymore. Currently lost, unfortunately. You can repair the hacksaw if you have tools, which uh, we found earlier. With uh, scrap metal and tools, you can repair it. So that one's lost. Let that be a lesson. <laughs> so there's food. Take one. We don't need any of this, but lots of, as you can see on the voyage, there's a lot of food. So, JJ, you can definitely live up there. I'm glad it snapped because uh, that can happen, so it's a good lesson. There's more tea and coffee. We'll take all of this. Herbal tea will heal you a ton. Coffee is great. There's also a first aid kit here usually. It's not here today, but often there's a first aid kit right here. And I just keep opening. As a tool, we'll take one of these so I can illustrate how this works. Full oh, fire strike, 98 fire striker. That's insane. That's gonna last you a lifetime. Just leave the rest. Yeah, we need five storm lanterns. Yeah, you know, actually, I have an idea. Not gonna be able to carry this load for much longer. Because why not, right? Is it, is it bright enough yet? It's Christmas. continue looting. More food. Just drinks. Where did this flare go? It's making a lot of noise. Still haven't found the sweater that I want though. Or the underwear. Excellent. More drink. This is the water one. You know, it's gonna be in the one that broke. That's where my uh um, the the long johns are. 
pick an MRE. This alone is food for a whole day, basically. So, uh, JJ, you could probably, if I had to guess, if you go on voyage, uh, if I had to guess, you can live up here for like four weeks or something. So yeah, you want to go here. On any difficulty, you want to go here. The loot is just crazy. Even on interloper is worth it, but on interloper, about half of these boxes will not be there. About half of them is missing, and about half of the boxes we found so far will be missing. Hey, Mr. Sharperson, how are you doing? Thank you for dropping by. Could end up Here's the hats. Uh, I'll take one of these. Here it is. We found it. The long johns. Balaclava is great. Another one. We'll take the toques and the balaclava. So. Uh, I need to repair these things. So. All this gear is slowing me down. Let's just actually take this and we'll repair it up here. Alright. So I'm going to show you how to repair the um, hacksaw. So let's say you have a hacksaw like this and it's damaged, but you don't want that because you want it to be repaired so you can loot all this stuff. You can repair it by clicking actions and repair. You need to have scrap metal and you need this. Uh, or the blue one, the simple tools works as well, I believe. And then you do it like this. No, it's repaired. So you didn't repair it completely, but you know, it's good enough. All right. Um, uh, let's harvest some stuff that we don't need just for our repairs. Harvest this. And we might as well repair to the max while we're here. Let's uh, conserve. No, not this one. Or this one. Uh, maybe this one. No, they're all rubbish. Right. I'm basically I'm tanking it through the night just to show you all the stuff. Let's see. Where's this as well? JJ, you will never believe what my average viewers were since I started streaming. 2.7 is best I ever had. Ah, it will pick up. Hey, Northern, how are you doing? <laughs> how did your stream go? It was a really good stream. Let's actually give a shout out for those who don't uh, know uh, him. You should check out Northern Shrike. He's a fairly new streamer of the Long Dark, but he's very good. He's trying to master it very quickly, and he's an, ac he's an academic like me. So he looks into it a lot, and he's got some good ideas about things that could change also. So he's, uh, and he's fun. So check him out. Uh, let's eat. Eat. And yeah, JD, it will it will pick up, you know, uh, as you become more recognizable in the community, people will tune in. Uh, your FPS issues will help for sure, even though it's watchable now. But as long as you have something fun, or you don't have to necessarily be good at the game, you just have to be interesting to watch, you know. I'm not saying I am, I'm just saying that, uh, uh, and if you keep it up, people will recognize you, so just just play it, play it to have fun, and if you have fun playing the game, then your viewers will have fun playing, watching you play it as well. All right. uh, as you can see in Northern, we've been kind of like messing about, There's a, I put all the storm lanterns <laughs> around. All right, let's see, is the Aurora still out? I don't think so. Uh, we need to repair this. 
Let's just try. I think it will be too dark. No. I can't remember if on Voyager they turned off the dark option. You can repair in the dark. I also want to repair this. <laughs> Another thing that you're addicted. <laughs> but thank you for the follow, um, Northern. Or do you prefer Shrike? I mean, just tell me what you prefer. So I'm, re um, I'm repairing all of this stuff. So the snow pants are just as good as the deer pants. They're actually a little bit warmer, but they weigh half. So they are actually better than the deer pants. Uh, but on interloper, you can't get the snow pants. So I'm just gonna harvest this. Shrike, okay. And let's put this on. This is the best underwear in the game. So weird thing to say, but and everything else is good. We didn't find the best sweater in the game, unfortunately. That's the only thing we didn't find. It's probably in the one that broke. And yeah, so now you've seen. Um, I should have actually kept one of these. Do I have any fuel on me? Uh, a little bit. Let's just grab one. It feels like a lot of gear. Let's refuel this. Alright, so you've seen what uh, is in store at the summit now. It's definitely worth uh, coming here. Oops, what happened? Oh, yeah. Sure, Sharper. See you soon. Where is their streamer? <laughs> yeah, you should also check out um, Nerdy Hedgehog. Let's actually give a shout out to Nerdy Hedgehog. Uh, we raided her yesterday. She's also fairly new to the game, but she is very nice. And she's very fun uh, to watch. And she makes a lot of butt jokes. <laughs> okay. Uh, so now you've seen the summit, now you know what's in store. So you should go here. As soon as you're able to, you should go here. Because you'll find so much stuff. Clothing, food, as you can see. We've looted all this. There's food, there's tools. Look at this. All of this was in one box. This, this is food for days and days. Uh, more food and water. More food. Bye guys. I can't was in there. I think I took it out. That one's the one that was ruined. That broke. Uh, tools. Uh, in here there was clothing, including the best boots in the game. More clothing, including the best, or one of the best sweaters mm -hmm. in the game, and the best gloves. Uh, meds and rifle stuff including a whole rifle so yeah you should come here now okay so those of you who are tuning in that's a little tip so when you're up here uh, let me actually show you in the morning so you can see what I mean we're gonna sleep here it's warm enough so let's just sleep here until it gets warmer uh, fine yeah, thank you for dropping by, uh, Hedgehog. I hope you're having a good time. Let's just sleep until things clear up. Uh, yeah, that's, this is good. Alright, for those of you who turned in while I was already up here. Now that you have looted everything... Get rid of this. It's very easy to get down. There's a couple of things to remember, so those of you who are tuned in. Once you're done here, you can go down here, and there's a corpse here. And this corpse will have usually maple on them, or something like that. And then you go here, and then to get back up to the plane now, you go up this way here. But you can go down here, just be very careful along this path. Then you can go down here. And if you should go slowly down here, you'll eventually get down here. 
and then you can just climb this little rope that's there or walk around and over there is the hut the mountaineer's hut it's right there right there so once you're up here and on a voyager let's just be honest here if you're up here on voyager you're gonna want to take a lot of this stuff with you right i mean look how heavy we are now and you want to bring <laughs> as much of this with you as you can but you're really heavy and you can't climb the rope don't worry about that no rope no problem just go down here this way and you can walk all the way to the hut dump all your stuff there and then continue your adventures uh, i could show you how to do it but i'm not going to because i i was going to show something else i was going to show how to attach the rope but if you want to see me do it you can just go on my youtube channel and there's a video of me doing it it's called climbing the summit without rope you have to get back up you go here yeah, I hope you die less, <laughs> but you seem to get the, have the hang of it anyway. I, I think you got the gist of it. That you don't know all the details of the game is, you know, just lack of experience playing it. That doesn't mean you're a bad player, so you'll be fine. The fact that you went to Bleak Inlet and killed Fluffy should prove that you're a pretty good player, so yeah. I'm carrying way more than I need to. But I'm just going to organize myself in the cave. I didn't find that many rifle bullets, but we found revolver bullets. Now the flare gun, uh, let's talk about the flare gun. The flare gun works the same way as the revolver. It scares off animals. It's not meant to be used for anything else. Uh, it's just meant to scare them off. However, the revolver will not always scare off things like bears or moose. It will scare off wolves, so the flare gun will scare off anything. So it's meant to use as an emergency deterrent to get rid of wildlife that's attacking you. It's basically a panic button, that's what it is. On interloper, the revolver and the rifle will not spawn. So you will not have these weapons on interloper. But you will have the flare gun. So that's really important to get that early in the game on Interloper. On Voyager that we're playing now, you can find shells. There are only two, uh, there are only two flare guns in the game. One is here at the summit and one is in the ravine. Uh, but you can find shells around the world. But on Interloper you can't. And many of you didn't know this, but the flare gun can one-shot a bear. You can kill a bear with a flare gun with one shot. Gotta be a little bit lucky though. I can probably show you, because there's a bear down here that we can practice on. Now before we do that, let's just sort ourselves out. We're carrying way too much stuff. Let's just dump things. We don't need this, for example. Um, let's see what else can we dump. Don't worry about carrying all this stuff. Dump all of this stuff. Uh, wait, let's just do this. Mm, dump this. Actually, I want that. heavy. Let's get rid of something. Let's get rid of some food. As crazy as it sounds. Let's get rid of these. These are gold, but I don't really need them. Uh, let's... How much water do we have? Not a lot. What else can we get rid of? We can get rid of... Dump one of these. I don't really, need, enough for this run anyway, I'm gonna dump all of this stuff in. This is prime loot, but I don't really need it, so if I really want it, I'll come back for it. 
And now we're good. All right, perfect. Let's leap out to recover some uh, health. I'm going to eat this. You fixed one sitting on Streamlabs, and my computer's running super fast now. <laughs> That's great. I look forward to your next stream. I hope uh, it's good. Let's recover some stamina because we're going to take the normal way down. So I showed you now how to Billy Goat down. We're not going to do that. We're going to do the normal way down because of the rope. I'm going to show you the rope. How to get back up here faster next time. So let's do that. Alright, let's see how much visibility is there. Ah, this is fine. Let's just do this. Alright, so we're gonna head back down now to the cavern, but we're gonna do a couple things there. So you can climb down the summit via the route I showed you, by the plane. So if you're carrying too much stuff, just go straight down from the plane. Uh, but you can also just go back down the normal way. Getting back down from a rope requires a lot less stamina than it does uh, getting up it. And we're doing this because of the rope we want. There we are, we're kind of heavy. Let's climb down. <coughs> what was the setting out of curiosity? <coughs> what, what, what was it that you changed? So there's a rope in the cave here where we came up, which you can attach to this one here, just to get down easier. But we're not going to do that. Low latency mode. Okay, that's good to know. <laughs> Check you out next time you're on. Ah, oh, hello Creamy, how are you doing? Thank you for dropping by. Notice the icon next to your name. Okay, so we're gonna get this rope, and we're gonna Give attach it to get back up to the summit easier. Uh, we don't need this. So here's the rope. Too heavy. Uh, one issue is that I'm a little bit heavy right now. But that's okay. We're gonna wait it out in the cave, so we're good. Let's go up this hill here. Shortcut. No worries, Creamy. You always tune in and, you know, you're earning them points, so... This is a, you know, this this is a new stream anyway, we're, we're developing. And uh, you're one of the first ones, so you deserve it. This trees, very many trees, by the way, you can walk up them. You, these, these branches are not really there. But some of them... Um, oh, actually, though. Okay, so let's go in this cave. There's a cave right here. And we're just gonna stay here. Uh, just for the sake of waiting for daylight so you can see what I'm doing a bit better. Let's just do this for a good measure. This cave leads to the other side of the mountain. We're not gonna go there, though. Alright, let's just sleep here until the daylight begins. As you can see, we're already very drained because we were climbing. Don't really have that much water though. Uh, how much drink do we have? Eh, that'll be alright. Make some a bit later. Let's sleep uh, five hours, I guess. What are you looking for? I think it is in there. Oh, okay. Uh, whoops. Okay. Let's uh, wait. Uh, let's just make a fire to make some water.
Oh, actually, while we're at it, let me just show you a trick if you didn't know this already. Alright, let's get the torch out. Let's get the bad torch out. Alright, so when you play on survival, you're gonna run out of- you have limited matches. Now, on Voyager, you have a lot of matches, so you're not gonna worry about it. But on Interlope, where there's limited matches, although if you know what you're doing, you, it's gonna take you hundreds, if not thousands of days to get rid of them, but still, there is limited matches. So, instead of starting a fire, uh, and then say, let's do it bad, deliberately, uh, that's a bad one. Uh, whatever. Instead of doing using a match and then have say 60% chance of doing it, if you then if you do a fire now and the fire fails, you are still going to use the match. The match is always used regardless of whether the fire succeeds or not. So you could fail again and again and again, and then you're using matches again and again and again. Instead of doing that, find some water. get a torch, use one match to light the torch and now you use the torch to light the fire because now if the fire doesn't start if you fail you're not using any more matches you're using the torch so that way you will always use only one match to start a fire see the fire failed all I have to do is start again with the torch no matches used. So that's the trick to save matches in this game. Of course, the f when you start the game, you can't do this necessarily because you don't have a torch. But once you make a fire, the first fire you make, you can just click on the fire, click grab torch, take torch, sorry, and now you have a torch. And then next time you're going to make a fire, just get this torch out, light it with one match, and make a fire. See? That's how easy it is. That's how you save matches. But if you're playing on Voyage, uh, I wouldn't worry too much about it. Because you're not going to run out of matches. You saw how many matches there were at the summit. Just in the summit alone, there must have been 150 matches or something. Yeah, it'll be fine. Uh, let's just get some of this water. Let's make another coffee. Oh, I don't have. Okay. Yeah, torch management is important, so keep that in mind. Oops, I totally forgot to put this in. I just used the coal also. Don't need it, but who cares? Oops, let's cook coffee. I always carry at least two torches with me. On it, on voyage, it's not as big deal because this you can also use a flare to light the fire. You can use a um, a flare works as well. Uh, but on Voyager, I always have two torches or more with me. Mm -hmm. uh, I think we're good with coffees, to be honest. I'm not sure I can carry much more. That's good enough for me. Let's leave that. Uh, let's eat whatever's heavy. I want to save the maple because why not? Uh, I'll show you the rope thing in this in the morning. Let's sleep. Mm -hmm. 
it's a light year. Nah, no, right, let's just wait four hours or so. Two hours, uh, that's fine. Sleep one more. I think it might be a storm outside. Let's just check. It sounds windy. It is windy, but it's not a storm. Let's just uh, warm up some. I eat some stuff. Let's eat this. Uh, we're not gonna drink just yet. Alright, now because I'm so heavy, uh, I can't actually climb down with the uh, rope. <laughs> Barry died. Barry the rabbit died. He should be right here. There he is. And I'm not sure if I can throw this far, but you can scare off a wolf with a rock. So if you see a wolf doing this, you can scare him off with throwing a rock uh, and then take the rabbit. Oh, I missed. A bit far away. Yeah, I missed. Oh well. Alright, so normally you'd want to climb down this rope here. But because I'm so heavy, we can't really do that. Uh, so I'm gonna cheese it and just Skyrim down. We'll take a little bit of fall damage here because this stu this route is stupid. As you can see. Yeah. <laughs> but it's Voyager. As you can see, I felt quite a distance and I got sprains and everything, but I didn't take any damage really. So we're good. Took any damage doing that. Oops. Don't do this at home. Oops, I uh, healed the. Uh, <laughs> I didn't heal the hands. My bad. Alright. Now we're down. Don't do that normally because it's uh, quite risky. But I did go the wrong way though. Like, you can go down here, that's easier. Or here, that's even better. Just go on the left here, like this. And then down here. It's perfectly safe. I was just being lazy. Let's just, um... Let's just bandage up completely, right? Why not? Let's just do this rock testing thing again. I'm going to also use this, just because the, the vision is a little annoying that it's blurry. So we're going to... Use this. Normally, I would never do this. There's no point trying to heal the pain. Alright, let's try and scare off this wolf. This was an illustration. Oh, he finished already. Okay, kill this bunny for me then. Alright, so he killed the bunny, he killed Barry the bunny. And we're gonna try and scare him off. Keep missing. Uh, ah, it doesn't seem to be too worried about it. That's right, though. Remember to pick up your shells. Maybe I just didn't hit them properly, because you can't scare them off with a rock, rock like that. Weird that it didn't work. Anyway, back to what we were doing. So, if you do find a rope up here, so in that cave where I found this rope, there's usually always a rope. If not, there's one on the summit. And then you can make your way back down. You can climb down in a route like this if you want. If you want to do that, uh, if you want to Skyrim down to here, you can. Just go on my YouTube channel, there's a video on how to do it, but I didn't do it now. Let's say you do it the normal way, you climb down the rope, and then you go to this rope, climb down this rope, and then you go here. And 
now we have activated the shortcut. This is the shortcut to the summit. We'll go this way back home. So in the future, if you, this is a long run, which you know is usually the goal of the game, uh, if you want to return to the summit, you can now just follow the river from the cabin all the way up here. You have to climb another rope over here though. And now you can take this rope and then suddenly you're here. You don't have to go all the way around. Yeah, poor Barry. Before we go though, we're going to actually, let's not test it on this bear. I was going to show you how to kill a bear with the flare gun. But that bear is already wounded because I hit him once. So let's find a fresh, <laughs> a fresh bear. And there is one. So let's go down. And on the way home, there's more containers to loot. There should be two more. Now we're at the upper plateau, and here is a container. Yeah, we need a fresh bear. Because otherwise, if I kill it with the flare gun, it's like, oh, see, I told you it will work. And then, you know, it's kind of cheating it because I already hurt him. This is kind of handy. Oh, this is good, skin good jacket, but I don't need it. Don't need this. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, right. Oh, this is a good one. The marina's coat is very good. Um, I don't need it, no, but it's very good. Uh, you can have double air rack like this. Too much this stuff is, to this carry. is the warmest setup you can have, but you can't carry as much. So <laughs> tail <Day old> bear, <laughs> exactly. Let's find fresh bear. More food. We don't need any of this. Alright, let's continue. Oh, now we can just follow the river. Now, those of you who tuned in earlier in the stream, down in the ravine where there was a wolf and um, container, there was a cave I talked about that I didn't enter. That cave, if you enter it, exits here. So if you do that, you're not getting close to the summit because you need this rope to get up there. Yeah. Anyway, let's continue. So just follow the river. And you'll get to the next stage back home. You don't have to go this way, by the way. You can go this way. It's longer, but you can go that way. And if you do go this way, it leads to a container. So, there's more loot. <laughs> Rancid as slave. Alright, so you get to the end of the river, and you turn right. Follow the edge here. And it takes you here. This is the last rope. And once you, once you climb down this rope, there's the bear. Uh, you can just follow this river all the way home. Do be careful though, because this bear is always here. So you could get unlucky and he can camp you. Right, let's just wait for the... Um, the stamina. <laughs> HP meat. Right, let's go. So let's uh, do the let's kill this bear with a flare gun. So what I'm going to show you now, it doesn't, it's not guaranteed to work, but you, it can work. You can kill a bear with one shot with the flare gun if you hit him just right and in the head. Uh, but you will see experienced streamers like Kimiota. You know, sometimes it doesn't work. They would, they will spend all the flares they have just to kill it. Now, you generally don't want to do that, but let's say you're playing interloper and you want the bear, but you don't have weapons yet, then you could hunt the bear with the flare gun. Generally though, if you're playing on voyage or stalker, you know, use the rifle. If you have the bow, use the bow. But if you don't have any of those things, use the flare gun. Let's see how close is he. <laughs> Is there. He's right here. 
there he is, okay. The way, the trick to killing him with the flare gun is, uh, Shardul explained it best. I'm just gonna copy his description, it's the easiest one to remember. Okay. The easiest way to do it is to aim right at him, and when he gets close, when he gets close, very close, you crouch and you shoot him in the face. Okay, that's how you do it. So let's just try. He should get afraid. If you fail and he doesn't die, he should still get afraid. Come on. So you kill a bear with a flare gun. The flare doesn't travel very far, so you have to get him very close. Because the flare will bend. Uh, I don't really need any of this bear. I guess I could take the hide just for the sake of it. Uh, yeah, a lot of hunting in this game is patience. So. <laughs> The same thing works for wolves, uh, but wolves are faster uh, and smaller targets, so, you know, I would not sure I would bother, but it does work for wolves as well. Uh, I don't, I think it does work on moose, but, uh, not sure. I've never, never done it, but I'm pretty sure it does work on them too. So yeah, and now you can just follow this river. Yeah, you you can uh, you can one shot the bear with the revolver as well. You can, if you're lucky and hit him in the head or you critical hit them. Usually though, as uh, Odd Bird Live will um, testify, uh, you might need one. What you you might need one one shot. You can kill a bear with one shot, but you might you might also yeah. need 18 <laughs> shots. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Nerdy. It is terrifying. Uh, I would practice it in an early run or something like that, or make sure you're at full health. Make sure you don't die if you were to fail. Get as close as possible. Another way to remember what to do is what Jeremiah says in the story mode. He says, you know, get as close as possible. I can show you why if you like, I don't mind if we use the flares. The reason you want to get as close as possible is because the flare barely travels. It goes in a curve. So if I shoot now here, uh, like right at the horizon here, the flare will probably land somewhere like here. Something like that. Let's just see. It doesn't matter if I use the flares because it's just for education. So. Let's say aim here. Let's see. That's as far as it goes. So if you want to hunt with this gun, you are extremely limited in doing so. So you have to get them as close as possible. In theory, you can hunt a deer with a flare gun. I have never done it myself. I know of some streamers that have done it, but it's absolutely pointless. It would have to be an emergency because hitting the deer with the flare gun is gonna be really tough. I wouldn't recommend doing that. All right. And now we are back safe here. This can be your base. You have now looted the summit. Can you believe it? We have been all the way up there. That's where we were. Um, yeah, you can use it on moose as well, Broken. Uh, i never done it, so I don't know if they go down in one shot, but I presume they do. Um, but yeah, thank you for checking or telling me that. I never actually tried it. I'll probably try it one day. 
I already killed the moose in this region, so we can't try it right now. And yeah, now we are back here. Let's dump all the stuff we don't need. Let's just put everything we don't need in here. Uh, I want to read this, I guess. Uh, let's put this in here. Uh, put the extra air wrap in here. We can put some food in here. Let's put some food in here. Put some coffee. Nah, that weighs nothing. So let's carry it. Uh, let's put it. Extra flare in here. And now we are back in the base. Alright, Yonko, thank you for sticking by. I hope um hope you have a nice evening or all night. Thank you. Alright, so that's pretty much it. So I showed you now how to get up to the summit, the route you can take. I guess I could show you the other entrance, the other route. And once you're up there, you need the rope, which you can attach over there. And then you can just climb down, follow the river here. And now, of course, if you want to get back, you just do this in reverse. Because yeah, since you now have put the rope here, if you want to get back up, you just follow the river. Go all the way up, climb yeah. up, and you're up to the summit again. You don't have to go this whole long way around. So now we have a pretty good secured route. Uh, I left a bunch of stuff up there, so if I want to go back, it's easy. And this is a pretty good base because you got deer, you got wolves, you got bears, you got moose, you got a fishing hut, so you can stay here a while. Yeah, yeah no problem, Slick. Um, let's just show you the other route to where the entrance is. We're not going to go up again, we're just going to show you where it begins. When I'm walking at um, Shrike, if you're still here, I saw you met your uh, follower goals, so congrats on that. You'll be affiliate in no time. Because I think today also you had quite a few viewers. So, uh, if I had to guess, and I'm guessing it. I'm guessing you already... You have already met the criteria for affiliate, or maybe you need to stream a few more days. Are you feeling it out there? I know, right? It's uh, it's a lot of paperwork, the taxes and stuff, but... Um, you, you can get your remotes and stuff afterwards, and subscriptions. I did notice you had quite a few years, so I thought you made it. So congrats on that. Congrats, congrats to strike. Now you can earn those uh, money on those ads, those cents. <laughs> I have 15 cents earned on ads. <laughs> uh. There's the bear we killed earlier. I think that's all the bears dead almost. Alright, so um, Slick and everyone who was watching in the beginning, when we started this run to get up to the summit up there, we went down here, down the ravine. What you could do instead is go this way. This is where we killed the moose. Yeah, it's actually over here somewhere. Oh dear. Good night. I'm gonna shoot this just to level up. Uh, uh, the rifle, I think. Who's walking behind? Oh, it's another day. Uh, yeah, screw it, he's kind of blocked. Alright, so this is where we killed the moose over there. You want to go now this way? Good night. So just follow this route instead. And now that you'll make affiliate in no time also, because uh, at least yesterday after I raided you, you, I saw you had like 10 viewers and stuff, so your average view count must be up. And uh, just get those followers and you'll be affiliate very quickly as well. 
I don't think the condition affects the accuracy. Like, uh, I don't think it does, but it does affect <laughs> whether the whether the um, the rifle fires. Now, I haven't not done it on stream, but I have a clip of it. Uh, I can probably show you one day. Well, maybe I can show you now, actually, where the gun jams. Because the lower the condition, the less likely it is to fire. Okay, so before I show you that, so just follow this path here, right? And eventually you reach this path. And you cross this, the ravine is down here, you cross this. And go here. And now, we are reaching the cave we were at earlier, the cave we slept in. It's just over here. Yeah, no, you're welcome, uh, Shrek. You deserve it. You're a good streamer. You're very knowledgeable and, you know, you're trying to com contribute to the community and you're trying to map out details and stuff in the game and, yeah, nice guy also. Uh, here's the cave. So this is where we were earlier. So, yeah. We'll help you as much as we can, uh, Nerdy. And you too, Creamy. I don't know, if I, I haven't actually watched your stream. Uh, maybe just haven't been on when I've been checking. But I'll make sure to tune in. Uh, actually, we should uh, shout outs to Creamy because uh, he's always around and he's a nice, nice guy. Actually, I'm really sorry, uh, Creamy. I just called you a nice guy. I assumed your gender there. I'm really sorry about that. Uh, but uh, check them out. Let's go here for the fun of it. All right. Uh, let's just see quickly if I have that clip. Just give me a second. Uh, I think I have a clip of me jamming the gun. Uh, ben Flan can't fit. Gun. Gun. Rifle jam. I think this oh is. God. Not yeah, when I'm see. shooting, I though. Let me just you see what happens. Let me just see what this clip is, because I think <laughs> it's not what I think it is. Oh, thank goodness. Ah, <laughs> oh, this is a post-jam <laughs> clip. I guess I could show it still. It's not really the same. But uh, let me just have a quick look here. Uh, let's add a... Media source, new clips. Uh, we want this is now you should do it. Uh, I haven't mastered the ins and outs of uh, the little bits and bobs of watching um, clips on Streamlabs, but anyway, you get the idea. Where is it? It's uh, where did it go? There we go. Alright, so this clip here, uh, the rifle's jammed, see? So this clip is, um, I have just fired the rifle, and it jammed. I probably do have to finish that, I don't know why it's not so, it must be somewhere. And I shot it, and it jammed. And of course, the wall attacked me around. Later in the same run, I took the rifle out to reload it and put the bullet in. But as you can see, it uh, didn't work because it, uh, it jammed. Let me just play that again. Okay, let's do that again. 
So you can see now, once I take the rifle out, it's jammed once I try to reload it. So you have to empty the cartridge. Special. That's what it looks like. So the issue is that if the weapon is low condition, it will jam. And it means you can't fire. And even if you then try to fix it, you have to go through that entire animation of ejecting the cartridge. So it's really bad. So on Interlope, of course, you don't have the guns, but on Voyager, you want to keep this top condition. Yeah. Uh, Creamy, do you have to be affiliate set up channel points? Yes, you do. In when you're affiliate, you can get channel points, and you get subscriptions, you get VIPs, and a bunch of other stuff. You can start earning money basically, also, which isn't my goal. I don't care about that, but uh, basically, that's how you do. Uh, then this partner after affiliate, which basically unlocks a whole bunch of stuff, but you know, that's a whole nother level. If I had to guess, the only the long dark streamer that's partner is the Fiend. Because he regularly gets over 100 viewers when he streams. And you need to have an average of 75. Kimiota is great, but he tends to be between 40 and 40 and 100. He probably is averaging around 60. I don't think Kimi is a partner. Uh, but Athenian definitely is. Alright. Yeah, you had a jam. It's not. It's really, really not fun. I was trying to set them up to have different things in chat, but I guess I can't. No, you can't. You can't even. You can't even set them up until you're affiliate, Creamy. Once you reach the criteria for affiliate, you have to fill out a bunch of paperwork for uh, taxes and a bunch of other stuff. And once you, then you become affiliate, and then you can set up stuff. You can set up your channel points and things to unlock, and you know all of that stuff. However, uh, the the Streamlab points are not associated with Twitch. So you know, like the points that I have and that Kimmy has, and you know all that stuff, like you know um, this stuff. That's a separate system run by Streamlabs, so that, that's got nothing to do with Twitch, so you can set that up without being affiliate. But yeah, give it, give it Creamy a follow, and uh, you know, check him out. I'm probably going to call it in a minute, let's get to the cabin. Let me see how far I'm doing. Um, this was quite a fun stream actually, I almost never play Voyager, because it's just too easy. But it was kind of fun to use the rifle and stuff again. Uh, I hope it was educational. I'm going to shoot this deer just to level my rifle skills. And then I'll save it. And I'll most likely, um, this particular run that you're seeing now, I'm on, probably only going to continue this uh, off stream to get the achievements. Or if you request it, because I generally uh, play on Loper on the stream. But if you know, if you want to see more of this kind of run, just let me know and I'll, I'll start a new one or continue this one, you know, whatever. Look how close you can get if you crouch. If you crouch, you're going to get this close. Because they can't see you. Crouching reduces aggro a lot. Mm. We're going to do some quick shots before we leave. Let's save it first. No, it's a Yeah, no problem, Creamy. Alright, let's get to the cabin and sleep. And in the morning, hopefully, there's some day around. And then before we call it, we'll do some uh, practice shots with the <laughs> rifle. I haven't got the bow. I haven't made it. Just lay down. The rifle is just so strong anyway. Sleep, I think yeah. at level 5 archery, the bow is actually stronger than the rifle. But uh, uh, 
the rifle is just more practical. Uh, I have on Voyager runs had both the bow and the gun. And I sometimes use the rifle instead. Uh, sorry, the bow instead of the gun. Because the gun, the rifle that is, it weighs um, four kilos. Well, the bow weighs a kilo and a half. So. Uh, and, and by the way, I'm assuming that the revolver can jam as well. I've never had that. Uh, but maybe next time I play this, whether it's on stream or not, uh, I'll deliberately not repair it and we'll see if it jams. Alright, let's uh, settle down here. I'm gonna drink a coffee just because I can't be asked, I want to run. To run and rocky cliffs. Da -da -da, da -da -da. <laughs> it's kind of late in the day, also, so it's fine. Uh, hey, the Great Duke, what day I'm on? Uh, this is a Voyager run that I'm only playing for achievements and education purposes, so this isn't very long. This is day 70 or something like that. Uh, 71, yeah, so it's not very far. Um, when I normally stream, if you haven't watched me before, I usually stream Interloper, where I'm on day 300 soon. Uh, but this is a Voyager run, which I predominantly only keep to level up skills to get the achievements that I'm missing. Because there are a few, like you can't get the skill achievement on Interloper because you don't have the rifle, for example. Um, but also for purposes like this stream where I'm showing tips, general survival trip tips for viewers. And if people want to watch more of this, if, if that's something you want. You just let me know uh, if you would like to see more Voyager or Stalker and I can continue this run or I can create a new run from scratch. I don't really mind. Uh, but yeah, this particular run is day 71. Alright, let's... Uh, let's eat this. Drink the water and let's sleep. Is it Twelve hours because why not? Yeah, the wolves. Let's wait for daylight as well. So this is the. I would say just, no, uh, drink really up cool. a bit. Let's wait. Uh, I would say four hours. The Great Duke, actually, sorry, it's the Great Duke, isn't it? Thank you for the follow. <laughs> the layout's almost exactly the same as mine. Well, I haven't actually done anything with it because I arrived here early on the stream and um, I just pretty much just did nothing. I just looted it, but then the hides I've dumped down here. You should see my trapper's yes. cabin, though. Uh, my trapper's cabin has a bunch of stuff on it laid about, all neatly organized. Alright, let's eat all this stuff. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm one of those people who like to have it nice and tidy. Uh, this one isn't that nice and tidy right now, but... Alright, uh, let's just write achievement run. Yeah, let's get rid of this. Uh, let's sleep two more hours or three. Okay. And then this can be the save. Took me too long to realize you couldn't actually pick stuff. That you could actually pick stuff. Yeah, I know, right? That took me a while as well. Um, I did know you could drop things. I would put pick things up like this, and I'd be like, "Oh, I want it over here," and I would I would drop it. Uh, and then I realized uh, that you could just do this, and you can even like you know you can rotate. 
how you want it as well. Uh, but that is something I think they added a few patches ago. That's a relatively new thing. Uh, maybe a year ago, maybe two years ago. Before that, uh, you could play some things like the lantern. Nobody needs this anymore. Like when you equip it, there was a butt option to place it. I don't think you could do that with this other stuff. Um, it had something to do with the radio, or maybe it was the radio menu had this didn't have this place function before. I don't remember. Uh, it doesn't matter. Let's see if this animal's out for some trick shots before we leave. Uh, I don't see any. I think there's a wolf up here though. Let's just see if there is. Let's just see if there's a wolf. I'll do some uh, fun shots. There is a wolf. Let's do some experimenting. How far away can you be? So this is too far because we tried this already. So from here, I don't think you. Uh, Maybe you can. I think it's a little too far. Let's just try it. Ah, that actually you can. Yeah, all right. I'm not going to save it, so I'm just going to waste the bullets here. I'm just going to waste them uh, for the fun of it to try some trick shots. You run, I'm coming for you. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Deer here somewhere as well. Where's yeah, the deer gone? Is that a deer? <laughs> oh my god, I actually hit him. That was pretty good. Got him from that distance. Didn't he run in here? Yeah, he did. So the wildlife eradicated, so it's now safe to land the helicopter. All right, <laughs> that was fun. Two uh, highlight clips there.
All right. Uh, I think we'll call the stream here. That was quite fun. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was educational uh, to do some Voyager stuff. Some shooty, shooty stuff and some climbing. I hope it was useful. If you want, I can put this particular stream on, on YouTube. I normally don't put my streams completely on YouTube with these highlights because, um, you know, it's just a bit boring. But this one might have some useful stuff in it for future reference before it's deleted on Twitch. So I can do that if you like. And if you in the future would like to see more of this uh, sort of thing, just let me know and I'll, I'll do it. Whether it's Stalker or, or Voyager, a new save or existing save. Uh, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Let's uh, let's raid someone before we go. Uh, thank you all for tuning in, and thank you for the follows and the subscriptions and everything. I really appreciate it. Uh, it does help the channel grow, and it is a lot more fun. Uh, uh, to be honest, I did start streaming without any sort of ambition, but it is a lot more fun to stream when you guys are here and uh, and um, um, interacting and stuff. So I hope you enjoy it. <coughs> so let's just see who's on. Who can we raid? Uh, thank you for being here, for, uh, Broken. It makes it a lot more fun. So let's see who's on. Um, JJ is on. He's playing Stranded Deep though. And uh, once is on, but he doesn't need I like streaming and uh, streaming raiding smaller people. Uh Shadul is actually on. Wow. Shadul is great. He's playing grounded. This is on, but this is already affiliate. Let's raid JJ. Because JJ uh wants to be affiliate as well, but his average view count is too low. He's playing Stranded Deep. Stranded Deep is quite fun. It's nowhere. <laughs> Nowhere near as good as the long dark for sure. Uh, I played it and I got bored after two hours. It was too easy. But it is, you know, it's, it's all right if you like the long dark. You might like it. So let's let's raid the uh, JJ. Um, and he's a nice guy. And he was by the stream. He's been on the stream a lot also. So let's raid him. So thank you everyone for tuning in, and I'll see you next time. I don't know when I'll be streaming next time. By the way, I'll. Almost certainly not be streaming tomorrow or Saturday, maybe Sunday, but we'll see. If not, it'll be next week. But you might see me around on like chats and stuff though. But yeah, thank you again. It's been great having you here. So let's say hi to all these numbers in his name, JJ. Uh, did I write this right? I think so. Yeah, that's him. All right, let's go to JJ and say hi. And uh, thanks again. Have a great night.